Chapter 5, What's Next, Winner or Loser? We have already noted that Lukashenko constantly and deliberately lets sleep, thinking about the prospects, of all his sleeps about his future presidency, it is easy to single out three ideas, going on a well-deserved rest under a successor, re-election for the next, and indefinitely, term, and leaving for a promotion, that is, to the Union State, or even Russia. Let's start with the fact that it is simply impossible for Lukashenko to go on vacation, it is hard to imagine how he will live after he loses power, and he drove himself into this trap, which sooner or later awaits every dictator, Edgeward Iden says, if Lukashenko thought about leaving, he would initiate the adoption of the law on guarantees to the president, not for himself personally, but for the president in general 507, sooner or later, such a law still has to be passed, but Lukashenko does not do this, and there is plenty of such indirect evidence that he intends to rule for a very long time, Lukashenko really did a lot of things for which everyone sooner or later has to answer, publicly and in the face of the court, so, for example, there is no doubt that if the personal involvement of the head of state in disappearances, or rather, in the physical elimination of political opponents of the regime, is proved, then he will face trial, this is the fate of Augusto Pinochet, he is being called to account, despite all the positive things that the general did for the country, raising the Chilean economy, other states often become security guarantors for outgoing rulers, but the guarantor states must seek the goodwill of the outgoing person and his services to society, Edgeward Shevard Nazi, let's say, had something to present, he was one of the foremen of Paris Troika, the Minister of Foreign Affairs under Mikhail Gorbachev, then the leader who brought Georgia to the seas, the West has never accepted Lukashenko, and here, in order to somehow improve relations, concessions in favor of democracy are needed, can Lukashenko make such concessions in order to use their fruits for his own security, once, on the eve of the 2001 elections, he quite transparently hinted at such intentions, like, just choose, and everything will work out, my rigidity, they say, was needed only at the first stage, Leonid Sinitsin recalls, before the elections, officials said, he will be re-elected and everything will change, many then believed that we would follow a civilized path, but I did not believe, I know him too well, and I understood that this was impossible, he is unable to change, Sinitsin was right, nothing has changed in the country, Lukashenko could not yield, because the whole system he had built would immediately fail, as for security guarantees from Russia, Lukashenko cannot trust the Russian leadership, after all, he perceives himself as a real rival to Putin, and Lukashenko knows too well what they do with rivals to hope for indulgence, and even before Putin came, Back in 1996, he let slip, we, as in 1941, are in the enemy ring, enemies have settled in the leadership of a neighboring state, with which we recently signed the Community Agreement 508, the perception of the world around him as an enemy ring has only strengthened since then and he will not believe any guarantees from outside, because he knows for sure that he himself would not reckon with any obligations for anything, if you do not believe the external guarantors, you can try to repeat the example of Boris Yeltsin, after all, the very first decree of the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, provided Yeltsin with a calm future, Vladimir Nistek says, I do not exclude that the nomenclature itself, today strongly clamped, offended, insulted, imprisoned, condemned, will still find the strength from among its midst to select a person who can potentially be coordinated with Russia and I do not exclude, with Alexander Grigoryevich, 
and present as an heir to President Lukashenko, but Lukashenko made such an option almost impossible. He long ago tried to destroy politically everyone who knew how to take a hit, and therefore could become a guarantor for him. So what? Stay afloat in politics as the leader of a specially created party or get a job as a prime minister or speaker. It is impossible to come to terms with this. Either you are Caesar, or nothing 509, and the constitution written under it can guarantee anything only to the president. Everything would be easier if Lukashenko felt defeated, then nothing can be done. As they say, woe to the vanquished, but he considers himself a winner, and with this, like it or not, many residents of the Republic agree, from the most diverse strata of society, following him, as if spellbound, people repeat, stability, stability, of course, it annoys the most active people, but not so much as to crush something, says Evgeny Budinus, even young people, including the usually revolutionary students, do not rush to the barricades at all, the documentary series filmed for the 10th anniversary of Lukashenko's rule shows, for example, a young family enthusiastically thanking Lukashenko for giving them the opportunity to build an apartment on a soft loan received from a bank. Economists understand that this is advertising, we didn't earn money for this for everyone at all, but only redistributed by force, for the sake of populism, but these scientific arguments are not interesting for a young family that has received the roof over their heads, people live in their own apartment, raise a child and thank their president, the rest look and believe in a miracle and they think that it is good to live in the country, but what is bad for them is just unlucky, Gennady Grush voices, the electorate does not vote for the political system that Lukashenko created, not for the economic model, they vote for his social policy, if we say that we need to break all this Lukashenko's social policy today, by proving that this is a primitive bribery of the people, we will not find support, we will never receive anything from the electorate in response, except contempt, but if Lukashenko does not feel like a loser, then why are we so worried about his departure, if he managed to build the building that ordinary people dreamed of, the era of Lukashenko is a time of great idleness says Edgeward Iden. The era of waiting and eating up fixed assets left to us by our ancestors, in historical time reckoning, a moment, in the life of a particular person, wasted years, even if they are provided with a living wage, in fact, Peter Krovkenko says this, tell me at least one new plant that he built, name at least one new type of product that was not produced until 1994, it's just that the margin of safety created by the Soviet system is such that Lukashenko lives on the old reserve, there is such an indicator of the economy, investment says Pyotr Tomartsev, editor-in-chief of Belruskaya Delova Gazeta, here our leadership itself admits that the investments that have come into the Belarusian economy are extremely insignificant, it should be considered rather as returned money, local money that returned as foreign. According to this indicator, our economy, of course, has a limit to economic growth, and here is the opinion of Evgeny Budinus, although Lukashenko led contrary to economic market laws, he succeeded better than those around him, because around, too, they lived not according to economic, but according to wolf laws. But the trouble is that this well-being has an objective limit. In Soviet times, Estonia or Czechoslovakia managed to reach this limit, even Belarus approached it, but that was the limit. Through the efforts of Lukashenko, we again approached him, but the laws of economics are objective and inexorable, we cannot jump higher, oh, the era of Lukashenko. This last anti-marketist is coming to an end, in any case, for Belarus, so, do you still need to leave, but where, 
the answer to this question seems to suggest itself 510, outdated project. Putin's arrival seemed to mark the end of Lukashenko's advance into Russia, but in reality he only paused the process, after all, Putin himself keeps saying that he does not intend to change the constitution of the Russian Federation in order to be able to run for a third time, so there will be another chance soon. It is obvious to everyone how purposefully Lukashenko enters the political space of Russia and how persistently he stays in it. These include regular visits by Russian journalists from the regions, mind you, these are the endless clubs of his fans, which, I suspect, are created not without help from Belarus in Skov, Volokda, again in the regions. This is also Belarus and television, which began broadcasting to the regions of Russia via satellite. The purpose of this was unequivocally explained by Beredin. The demonstration of a model that could be acceptable for Russia, that is, Lukashenko is steadily there. It's absurd to say that he only wants to or that the Russians should be afraid of this. He is there 511. Lukashenko ensured that the Belarusian version of the management model demonstrated, with the help of Russian television, to many Russians its success and effectiveness, but Putin did not succeed, of course, also because Lukashenko has a generous Russia that finances the social programs of his dear ally, but no one explains this to the residents of Bogolma, Kinshma and Uryupinsk, as, however, and the inhabitants of Kazan and Ryazan, Volokda and Vladivostok, Arkhangelsk and Astrakhan. It is clear that Lukashenko's rule largely depends on what will happen in Russia and Ukraine. If national authoritarian tendencies win in Russia, it will continue to help keep Lukashenko in power in Belarus. If the trend towards democracy wins, they will help to overthrow him. Most likely, it is not too difficult, a year or two of massive work by the Russian media, coupled with economic sanctions, and hello, but this is possible, most likely, only when life in Russia is much better than in Belarus, and those who see it with their own eyes will say that yes, they tell the truth on TV, and we, they say, live like in well, although warm but not very comfortable and there is little light 512, nevertheless, Lukashenko is increasingly positioning himself and his political course as a conscious alternative to Putin's course, but I want to ask you an old rhetorical question, everyone there says, here, God forbid, here Lukashenko will still appear on the Russian political scene, to which I always say, to be afraid of wolves, do not go into the forest, if you are afraid, then there is no need to offer any options, especially the election of a single president, or are you sure that a Russian citizen will win the election of the head of state of our union if we follow the path proposed by Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, I would not recommend that you be in such a hurry. People today will figure out who will be if we go this way 513. Here the question involuntarily arises, what are his chances in Russia and do they exist at all? The question ceases to be rhetorical when you figure out what he has for such a victory. There is money, four or five secret services in subordination, a well-established intelligence service in Russia with reliable informants and in addition a huge number of well-wishers not only in the regions, but also in all government structures from top to bottom. What does he not have in order to start the conquest of Russia? Well, in order to let them drink some water, and then, they say, we'll figure it out. Such hooks, for example, as dual citizenship, or that Putin, who declared that he would not go for a third term in this state, suddenly decided to unite with Belarus in order to have another state. But you never know, scientists know that when the task is set, this is already half the battle 514. 
it sometimes seems from Minsk that those who are ready to bring Lukashenko to the Kremlin on their shoulders need only a pretext and a signal that they are already preparing for this. A 2,000 strong rally was held in the center of Kaliningrad against the replacement of benefits with compensations. At the Motherland Monument, representatives of almost all parties and movements gathered, the Communist Party of the Russian Federation, the All Union Communist Party of Belarus, the NBP, Yabloko, Rodina and their new pensioners hold banners with slogans. Putin, don't wet the defenders of the fatherland, Putin, Russia is not Chechnya for you, cleaning our pockets will not work for you, Putin's rule is a rule of national treason, officers are freaks, people, benefits, at the end of the meeting and the bout, Igor Rivin, the first secretary of the regional organization of the Communist Party of the Russian Federation, called on the audience to come up with the initiative for the resignation of Vladimir Putin. The Kaliningrad communists proposed to elect Alexander Lukashenko as the new president of Russia 515. Of course, such publications cannot but strengthen Lukashenko in his Kremlin dreams. The former secretary of the regional party committee, former minister of agriculture, well-known politician Vasily Leonov believes, Lukashenko will never give up the idea of a march on the Kremlin, he only postponed its implementation for some time, he is strong enough, ambitious without measure, and at the first opportunity will try to insist on his own, the main thing for him is to sit out in Putin's presidential chair, emphasis mine, F. He is echoed by the well-known film director and public figure Yuri Kashchevatsky. Of course, Lukashenko's dream of Russia remains. That is why he needs a third term, highlighted by me, F. In order to make it to 2008, he does not think about 2010, about the Belarusian elections. He thinks about 2008, about the Russian elections, because after Putin, he again intends to join the fight for the Russian throne. He is forced to deal with Belarus now, just to hold out by time, stop the night and hold out the day. So, there is no doubt, for Lukashenko, the idea of attacking the Kremlin is only postponed in time, but we need to strengthen our positions in our own country so that we don't have to fight on two fronts later. It is precisely for this that numerous cleansings of the political field are being carried out, independent newspapers are being squeezed, and those who can still somehow advance are eliminated from the stage. All this happened before, but there is also something new, quite, it would seem, unexpected. This is the idea of a own path for Belarus, which is neither Russian nor Western. Thanks to our initiative, we nevertheless reached the conclusion of the union with the Russian Federation, although Russia, apparently, saw something else in this. Yes, we have a modernized, restored, returned to life economy. Our enterprises are working today, at the very least, they provide more or less normal existence to our society, well, found the most tidbits, there, in Russia, a, f, everything has already been divided, powerful oligarchic clans have risen, which cast a glance at Belarus, and the place is profitable, in the center of Europe, no matter how you twist or turn, fly or move on the ground, it's all the same through Belarus, and the companies are good, we must privatize, need to take, this is the set of reasons that caused pressure on our country and, above all, on its president, I want to say again, we are used to it, whatever we are, less than so many times our fraternal Russia, we still will not put up with the fact that they pushed us in the back either from the west or from the east and forced us to do what is unprofitable for our country and our people. This is a firm, unchanging position 516. This firmness and immutability, but already in opposition to both the west and Russia, led to an unexpected effect. 
Lukashen has a new ally in the person of the opposition, not all, of course, but more and more often voices from the opposition camp are heard in his favor, since 1996, since the signing of the agreement on the creation of the community of Russia and Belarus, we have been fighting for the independence of the state, says Viktor Ivashkovich, deputy chairman of the Belarus and Popular Front Soim long-term organizer and participant in opposition rallies, and all the manifestations were under the slogan, Long Live Belarus, Long Live Independent Belarus, Onion for Flower, Down, not because down with that he is a dictator and violates democratic norms, but because he is selling our homeland to Russia, but the more often we shouted the enemy is at the gates, the state is being liquidated, rise up, people and the more often it did not end in any action, the more people came to the realization that there is no such terrible problem, the Belarusian state will exist, and it makes no sense to go to the barricades, because even at the top no one wants to liquidate him, as it suddenly turned out, fought for independence, when independence is established, it is necessary to fight for democracy in an independent state, but people still need to reach this level, what is democracy, why don't you like Lukashenko, and what should be the economic reforms, and if earlier people sat down with Lukashenko, because he is selling our Belarus and will send our children to fight in the Caucasus, now, in 2004, while collecting signatures for the parliamentary elections, I met many who say, thanks to Lukashenko, only thanks to him, our children do not fight in the Caucasus, because he firmly defends our independence from this Moscow, Lukashenko got the opportunity to take a break from the mass protests at the very moment when he abandoned the pro-Russian rhetoric, it remains for him to take one more step on this path and become a Belarusian nationalist, in any case, this is how Leonid Sinitsin sees the situation, in Lukashenko's public speeches in the propaganda materials of the state media, raising the interests of the unity and self-determination of the nation to the rank of the highest value is more and more clearly visible, forcing any other considerations to fall silent once and for all. The topic of Belarus and nationalism is clearly being promoted, which has never been used as a political resource in Belarus by any government. Moreover, it was constantly suppressed by any power. It is impossible not to understand that this is a very powerful internal political resource. The energy of nationalism, swirling from above, will destroy any export revolution. Any social movements will lose a practical chance of success if they do not go hand in hand with him or refuse to cooperate with him. On the Belarus and nationalism, which, by the way, is carried out in Russian 517, one must understand something ideologically very weighty and dangerous, namely, the conviction that the way of life of the majority and every citizen here is different from the life of the peoples of other countries of the post-Soviet period and cannot be understood by anyone other than those who live in Belarus, that the goals set by us should be achieved not even because they are correct, but because they are ours, here it is, that's it and personnel changes have recently been carried out in the government of Belarus by Lukashenko according to the principle, whether this or that high-ranking official will be able to withstand pressure from Russian colleagues or not, those were appointed, whose resilience Lukashenko did not doubt 518. In an interview with Belaruskaya Delova Gazeta on November 19, 2003, Russian political scientist Sergei Karaganov remarks, we see that more and more people in Lukashenko's inner circle either change their views and begin to adhere to anti-Russian directions, or there are people who openly express anti-Russian views. Previously, 
such views were dumped on the opposition, but now we see that they are expressed to a much greater extent by the official leadership. The explanation for such a sharp turn is simple, with Putin's Russia, Lukashenko is decidedly not on the way, and it is no coincidence that his rhetoric is increasingly being understood among Belarusian nationalists, where a new motif sounds more and more insistently, Russia supporting the dictator Lukashenko is bad, this is good, in the unofficial Belarusian press, statements even began to slip that, they say, in the struggle for the preservation of Belarusian statehood, one should rally around their president, no matter how anti-democratic he may be, we will defend, they say, statehood, we will strengthen it, and then we will fight for democracy, and it doesn't matter that this strengthening of statehood does not at all bring prestige to Belarus in the world, moreover, this is not the sovereignty of a state, but of one person, Belarus and nationalism is for Lukashenko, if not a real salvation, then at least an attempt to prolong his days in power, especially if Moscow does not need him in his current capacity, then Moscow will stop subsidizing him, there will be nothing to live on, and he will only have to grab hold of the nationalist ideology, whether it will save in the 21st century is another question, and while flying with the idea of an immediate merger with Russia with himself as the president of the Union, Lukashenko is building a state fenced off almost from the whole world, something like North Korea or Cuba, the slogans put forward by him, for example, about the need to rely solely on one's own strength, without taking into account global trends, are also quite akin to the Jewish ideas, and all this just to exist quietly in this cozy Belarus and enclave until Putin leaves and Lukashenko has the opportunity to re-execute his plan Dren Nachosan 519. Shame 520 No one had any doubts that Lukashenko would try once again to change the constitution in order to be able to wait out Putin and survive politically, and Lukashenko himself did not hide his intentions, many are hinting to me from the outside, well, we need to arrange such a combination so that the countdown of the presidency begins from some stage there, or unification with Russia, or something else, and so on, I will ask everyone who thinks so to put it out of their heads, if I go to the polls in 2006, then honestly and frankly, I'm saying this for the third time, I'll put the question to a referendum, I will put the question directly before people, will you allow it or not, I will do it honestly and transparently, I will not arrange combinations in order to stay in power, I do not want to cross out the 10 years that I tried to work honestly and sincerely, if these are my last years, I will work just as honestly and sincerely, if the people still allow me to let the country, it will also be absolutely honest and absolutely sincere 521. At the same time, Lukashenko spoke, as often happened to him, half-truths, in fact, he had long intended to go to a referendum and was only waiting for an opportunity, he needed to somehow neutralize Putin or seize the moment for him to be distracted, so that he had no time for a referendum, no time for Belarus, no time for Lukashenko. And again he was lucky 522, on September 1, 2004, children in Russia and Belarus went to school, it has always been so, parents led the first graders, solemn, smart, joyful, no one knew that the whole school, 1400 people, along with teachers, school children and parents, in the Ossetian town of Baslan, she will be taken hostage by Chechen bandits, and the whole world will talk about it, forgetting about everything, then I worked in the department of manuscripts of the Jogialonian library in Krakow, in a hotel room, there were CNN broadcasts, and I could watch what was happening live, 
when television cameras had already appeared in Baslan, I cried at the TV screen, imagining what these children and these adults might feel. I worked as a teacher in Grodno for five years, in exactly the same school, and I knew what the 1st of September was, when the school in Baslan had already been liberated from both terrorists and hostages, mourning was declared in Russia, and not only in Russia, in Poland and France, in England and Germany, the lessons began with a moment of silence, teachers told children all over the world about the misfortune that happened to their peers, the grief was universal, in Minsk, people were also gathered, mostly young people, and taken by bus to the country's main square, Oktyabrskaya, a three-minute walk from the presidential residence. Many thought they were going to a funeral rally. It was supposed that the address of the head of state to the citizens of Belarus would be broadcast on a large advertising screen above the square. In addition to those brought there, there were few people. Minsk residents are generally reluctant to react to events emanating from the authorities, unless, of course, this is a festive festivities or a trade fair, a tired, pale, the makeup did not hide this, face of Alexander Lukashenko appeared on the screen, he spoke, dear compatriots, everyone is quiet, in accordance with the current constitution of our state, I signed a decree on holding a nationwide referendum, it will take place on October 17 this year, why on this day, as you know, elections to the Belarusian parliament will be held on October 17. This is a large and responsible, politically significant campaign. Elections both mobilize and unite society, and distract it from pressing problems. In order to avoid such a distraction, not to tear you away from the fulfillment of the tasks facing you and your families, it was decided to combine elections and a referendum. Moreover, we can avoid additional costs by combining these political activities. There is only one question for a referendum, and it sounds like this. Do you allow the first president of the Republic of Belarus Alexander Grigoryevich Lukashenko to participate as a candidate for the president of the Republic of Belarus in the presidential elections and do you accept the first part of Article 81 of the Constitution of the Republic of Belarus as follows? The president is elected for five years directly by the people of the Republic of Belarus on the basis of universal, free, equal and direct suffrage by secret ballot. The area is frozen. What was just said did not at all resemble condolences to the Russian people on the occasion of the Baslan tragedy. Everyone involuntarily became, as it were, accomplices in an indecent scene. A person waited for an opportune moment 523, and committed an act for which in such a situation one has to blush and justify oneself for a long time. After all, as political scientist Sergei Karaganov would later say, Lukashenko actually used the helplessness of Russia after Baslan and the helplessness of the Russian bureaucracy in general and slipped through with his referendum 524, but, in the end, they were going for something else, after all, they seemed to want to express condolences to the Russians, yep, here it is, finally. The Lord keeps us, for these ten years, not a single Belarusian has become a victim of a terrorist act, an armed conflict, we have saved our country from participating in international adventures that would endanger your life and safety in the slightest degree, this is our greatest asset, and in the referendum you will vote for the security of the country, for the life and health of your children and grandchildren. This is how you will vote, and not at all for some third term. Another thing is that by voting against a third term, you thereby stand up for terrorism. People on the square were silent, shocked by what they heard. In the silence, a piercing youthful voice rang out. Shame, 
the cry took off from the asphalt heated during the day into the evening September dusk. It was a cry of pain and despair. Only a man conscious of his own impotence cries like that. And I suddenly remembered how right here at the Oktyabrskaya metro station in the morning after the second round of the first presidential elections in 1994, Volodya Lapsevich, distraught with happiness, ran and shouted, Thank you, people, you have chosen the man, nothing can be changed, the machine for falsifying the people's will has been created and is working inexorably, Russia, as always, is not up to us, or not yet to us, the West does not understand anything, and therefore makes a mistake after a mistake. Politicians through the youth, you can't prove anything to anyone and you can't explain it, Lukashenko on a huge screen, he is a winner, and what about this desperate boy, what is his cry, this lonely voice of the minority, which is deprived of the hope of being able to live like a human being, if not now, then at least tomorrow, and from the fact that out of several thousand people brought to the square, and out of two million residents of the Belarusian capital who know what is happening here, only one, just a boy, took it as a tragedy and objected with a cry of despair. It became scary and sad, and the people in civilian clothes had already rushed to the boy and dragged him into the funnel. Witnesses and accomplices seen it seen Leonid rightfully opens our list of heroes, interlocutors and accomplices, member of the Supreme Council of the BSSR of the 12th Convocation, a former builder who became a politician in the midst of Paris Troika, he tried not to speak from the parliamentary rostrum, concentrating on behind the scenes work. And be announced to the press, he became the head of the first campaign headquarters of Alexander Lukashenko, a kind of Belarus and Frankenstein, no, not a monster, as some believe, but a professor who created a monster, after the victory, the first head of the administration, in 1996, he resigned from the post of deputy prime minister as a sign of disagreement with the policy of his creation. Abramova Olga candidate of philosophical sciences, activist of the democratic reforms movement, created in 1997 and headed the Belarus and Public Association Yabloko, member of the House of Representatives of the Second and Third Convocations, in 1996, as a deputy of the Supreme Council of the Thirteenth Convocation, she opposed the referendum that expanded the powers of the president, in 2004. She was elected to parliament with the reputation of beloved oppositionist Alexander Lukashenko, Adamovich Slavomir poet. His work is characterized by deliberate outrageousness, for the poem Kill the President was convicted. After serving his sentence, he took part in opposition actions, in particular, during the March of Closed Mouths dedicated to freedom of speech in Belarus, he publicly sold his mouth shut with threats. Later he emigrated to Norway, where he received the status of a political refugee. A Zarinok Yuri filmmaker specializing in vile libels exposing the Belarusian opposition, under Viktor Scheiman, he was appointed press secretary of the Republican Prosecutor's Office. Antonovich Ivan, Doctor of Philosophical Sciences, head of the Department of Culture of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus, then he represented Belarus in UNESCO, he was a member of the Politburo of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the RSFSR under Ivan Poloskov, after the collapse of the USSR. He returned to his homeland under Cabbage, he headed the Government Analytical Institute, under Lukashenko, Deputy Minister, and later Minister of Foreign Affairs of Belarus, even the knowledge of four languages did not help him prevent the international isolation of Belarus, honored scientist of Belarus. 
professor, after his resignation in Moscow, lectures on the history and theory of human rights, Antonchik Sergei, a worker at one of the Minsk factories in 1991, a member of the Republican Strike Committee, deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, member of the BNF Parliamentary Opposition, in 1995, a year after Lukashenko, he tried to repeat his success by delivering his own revealing anti-corruption report, but he did not achieve much resonance in society. Balanki Yuri, deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, one of the leaders of the conservative Christian party of Zinan Pozniak, Bogdankovich Stanislav, doctor of economics, former head of the Department of the Belarusian Institute of National Economy, the first chairman of the board of the National Bank of the Sovereign Republic of Belarus. Despite a noticeable speech impediment, Bogdankovich became a brilliant university lecturer and a confident public politician. After his resignation, for some time he headed the United Civil Party, of which he remains the honorary chairman to this day. Bogutsky Oleg, historian and political scientist, in 1998-2000, he was the manager of the Belarus and Social Democratic Roma the party, in 1999. During the alternative elections, he worked at the headquarters of Viktor Goncha. In 1999-2000, he represented the BSDH in the Consultative Council of Opposition Political Parties and the Coordinating Rada of Democratic Forces. Since 2004, General Secretary of the Belarus and Social Democratic Party, Narodna Hromada, Bos Halko Oleg, head of the sector of the Mogilev Regional Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus, prosecutor of the Shklovsky district, later prosecutor of the Mogilev region, in 1997, at the suggestion of the presidential affairs manager Ivan Titenkov, he was appointed prosecutor general of the Republic of Belarus. He was removed from office in November 2000, when, together with KGB chairman Vladimir Motskovich, he demanded the resignation of Secretary of State Viktor Shyman, who, according to them, interfered with the investigation into the disappearances of famous Belarus and politicians, buried in Arkady businessman, deputy chairman of the board of Belagroprom Bank, one of the sponsors of Lukashenko's election campaign in 1994, since 1996, enforced emigration in Russia, Brolish Yosip, investigator of the prosecutor's office of the Republic of Belarus for particularly important cases, he became widely known proving that the mass graves in the Kuropati tract really belong to the times of Stalinist repressions, and not the Great Patriotic War, Budin as Yevon a man with an exotic surname for Belarus and no less exotic way of life, was considered one of the best publicists in Belarus back in Soviet times. He was friends with the first secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB Efrim Sokolov and the leader of the Belarus and Popular Front Zion and Pozniak at the same time. After gaining sovereignty by the Republic, he went into business, became a book publisher and creator of the unique private museum of material culture the Ducky, under Lukashenko. He left the business and wrote the novel Fools, which became a political bestseller and, according to the press, one of the most accurate and honest books about the modern history of Belarus. Bulakhov Dmitri Prosecutor, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, in which he headed the Commission on Legislation, head of the initiative group for the presidential nomination of Alexander Lukashenko in 1994, for some time he headed the stillborn party of all Belarus and unity and the court, was in opposition, then he returned to Lukashenko, 
He was appointed first deputy chairman of the CIS Executive Committee for the Belarus and Quota, Vasilevich Grigory Doctor of Law, member of the Constitutional Court of the First Composition, one of the leading developers of the texts of both editions of the Belarus and Constitution. He gained notoriety among journalists as the only member of the Constitutional Court who regularly went against the opinion of the majority of his colleagues on the issue of violations of the Constitution by the President, Chairman of the Constitutional Court of the Second Composition, Vakako Valentin, Vincek, philologist, son of Pata Mashrov's assistant, became a conscious supporter of the Belarus and national idea while still at school, from university years he was an activist of informal youth organizations, until 1999 in the shadow of Zion and Pozniak, deputy chairman of the Belarus and Popular Front. Since 1999, after the split of the party, he has been the head of the Belarus and Popular Front Party, speaks 13 languages, with Hans Georg a German diplomat and politician who managed to work on his long life as the ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to the USSR and India to let German intelligence, in 1998 he was appointed head of the OS advisory and monitoring group in Minsk, after which he became a favorite target for criticism from both the state media and the radical Belarusian opposition, after the presidential elections in 2001. Vic was not renewed his diplomatic accreditation and was not issued a visa, since then he has been living in Germany and is considered one of the most competent European experts on Belarus and problems, Vinikova Tamara financial and political figure, wild orchid of the Belarus and political and economic elite, a beautiful, strong woman, lionesses are always stronger than lions, even in politics. She headed the country's largest commercial bank, Belarus Bank, then she became an informal advisor to Alexander Lukashenko, in 1995-1997, chairman of the board of the National Bank of Belarus. Her closeness to the head of state cost her her freedom, but she managed to end up with her family in London. I had to communicate with her by mail. In answering questions, Miss Vinikova is traditionally evasive. However, this is her right to suffer. Gaidukovich Sergei Lieutenant Colonel Rocketeer, leader of the People's Movement of Belarus, then, after its self-disintegration, led the Liberal Democratic Party, earning the nickname Belarus and Zhiranovsky, in the days of Saddam Hussein, he was considered the best friend of the Iraqi people, from among the Belarusians, in 2001. He ran for president, as a sparring partner of Alexander Lukashenko, and took an honorable third place out of three candidates. In 2004, he received the mandate as a member of the House of Representatives. Garkan Vladimir, former chairman of the collective farm, first secretary of the district committee of the party, then chairman of the Commission on Agrarian Issues of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, Deputy Prime Minister in 1994-1999, Ambassador of Belarus to Lithuania, German Chikigor journalist, editor of the first Belarus and opposition newspaper Svoboda, then the independent socio-political magazine Korea, member of the Belarus and Popular Front, deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, a courageous, honest and strong man, even outwardly similar to Don Quixote, he died in 2001 from cancer, Golubov Valentin is a candidate of historical sciences, elected to the Supreme Soviet on the wave of Paris Troika, he was one of the best orators of the parliament, Pozniak's deputy for the Belarus and Popular Front faction, after he did not get into the new composition of the Supreme Council, 
he returned to science, science has benefited from this, parliament has lost, Guncha Victor candidate of legal sciences, one of the brightest Belarusian politicians of the new wave, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th and 13th Convocations, deputy prime minister, then secretary general of the economic court of the CIS, chairman of the Central Election Commission of the Republic of Belarus, disappeared in 1999 under unclear circumstances, Guncha Zinaida the wife and associate of Viktor Guncha, Grib Machislav Lieutenant General of Militia, Honored Lawyer of Belarus, Head of the Vitebsk Regional Police Department, then Chairman of the Parliamentary Commission on Defense and Security, as Chairman of the Supreme Council, he signed the first Constitution of Sovereign Belarus, Hrib saw the will of fate in this, mastered the Belarusian language moderately well and began to consistently defend democracy and sovereignty, after he had lost power, and then went into opposition, Grush Voigonadi Doctor of Philosophy, Professor, Deputy of the Supreme Council of Belarus of the Twelfth Convocation, the founder and head of the Children of Chernobyl Fund, thanks to which more than 500,000 Belarusian children received help abroad, mainly from territories contaminated after the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, Galyaya Anatoly journalist, head of the sector of the Mogilev Regional Committee of the Communist Party, then, correspondent of the newspaper of the Central Committee of the Ktsu Rural Life in the Western Region, although in 1989-1992 he helped Lukashenko a lot, he did not join the team and wrote about him, both before his victory in the elections and after, directly and honestly, Daniko Pavel economist and politician. He was an assistant to the People's Deputy of the USSR, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, one of the leaders of the United Civil Party. After the presidential elections in 2001, he focused on work at the Institute of Privatization and Management, one of the leaders of which is to this day, Danilov Gennady Party and Soviet official, State Secretary in the government of Kabich, for some reason, he was extremely unpopular in democratic circles, the press sincerely disliked him, now, against the background of, say, Victor Scheiman, who replaced him, Danilov seems to be simply a guarantor of free thinking, Jko Leonid the quiet deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, who joined the opposition, a decent and harmless person who did not find a place for himself at the end of his deputy mandate, now he works as a press secretary of one of the three Belarus and Social Democratic Parties, Dementai Nikolai former secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB, chairman of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, Taicho supported the Moscow coup in August 1991, and after its defeat voluntarily resigned, vacating the seat to Stanislav Shashkovich, probably, remembering how at a difficult moment this comrade in arms surrendered President Gorbachev, President Lukashenko in 1997 will make him a senator, a member of the Council of the Republic. Dolgolev Vasily Deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, Deputy Chairman of the Control Chamber, after Lukashenko's arrival, he was appointed Deputy Head of the Administration, Head of the Presidential Control Service, together with Sinitsin, he left the administration for the government for the post of Deputy Prime Minister, together with Sinitsin, in July 1996, he submitted his resignation, but the resignation was not accepted, and Dolgolev worked both as first Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Brest Regional Executive Committee and twice as plenipotentiary of the President of Belarus in Moscow, in general, a valuable shot, 
Domash Samyun head of the department of the Grodno City Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus, chairman of the lead and Grodno City Executive Committees, chairman of the Grodno Regional Executive Committee, he was a member of the Presidium of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, remained faithful to the 1994 Constitution, in 2001, he was registered as a candidate for the presidency of the Republic of Belarus, however, under pressure from the democratic community, he voluntarily withdrew his candidacy in favor of the single candidate Vladimir Goncharik, which cost Domash himself a heart attack, after 2001. He retired from politics, Nikolai Domashkovich, former first secretary of the Seno District Party Committee, deputy of the Supreme Soviet of the 12th Convocation, from 1996 to 2000, chairman of the State Control Committee of Belarus. It was rumored that in this position he worked so zealously that one day he asked Lukashenko to appoint him as prime minister, they say, otherwise they will be killed for loyalty. True, he was never appointed prime minister, but he was appointed chairman of the Minsk Regional Executive Committee. In this position, I ate criticism for postscripts. Dubko Alexander, chairman of the collective farm, Hero of Socialist Labor, in 1994, he was nominated as a candidate for the presidency of Belarus from the Agrarian Party, after the introduction of the presidential vertical, he headed the Grodno region, during the constitutional crisis of 1996, he betrayed his friend and comrade in the Agrarian Party, Samyun Sharitsky. Yerin Leonid KGB career officer, he worked in various positions in the KGB of the BSSR, then headed the transport department of the KGB in the Moscow region. In 1992 he returned to Belarus. In 1996, first deputy chairman of the KGB of Belarus, then head of the security service of the president of Belarus. From November 2000 to November 2004, chairman of the KGB of Belarus, shortly before his resignation, he defiantly went out to the opposition protesters for a conversation, saying, sooner or later you will find out everything, referring to the disappearance of politicians, Yermoshin Vladimir in 1994-1995. The chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee, then during the year the Prime Minister, appointed to this post, according to knowledgeable people, against his own will, he demonstrated an amazing combination of career qualities of efficiency and decency for an official of this rank, after his resignation, he headed the Belarusian branch of MTS for some time, and then left to work in Moscow, Yermoshina Lydia Loya, chairman of the Central Election Commission of the Republic of Belarus since November 1996, co-author of All Elegant Victories over the Electorate won by Alexander Lukashenko since then. Her role in the fight against Belarus and democracy was duly appreciated by the international community. The head of the Belarus and SAC was officially declared banned from entering the territory of the European Union, along with persons suspected of involvement in physical reprisals against opponents of the regime. Zoli Fanny wife of the first French ambassador to Minsk, Claude Zoli. She loved Belarus and, and Russian culture, tried to translate Eugene Wanagen into French, author of the book of memoirs Belarus and Adventure, Zaravkova Galina director of a garment factory in the city of Valles, Smolensk region. She returned to her homeland in the Shklovsky district, where Ivan Titenkov, the manager of the president's affairs, noticed her and appointed her the head of the Belarus and concern of folk crafts. In 2001, Zaravkova occupied his office, where she really developed herself, 
proving what a woman who has received power and authority is capable of, Zavadsky Dmitry former personal operator of the president, then operator of the old film crew, led by Pavel Sheremet, together with Sheremet, Zavadsky was sentenced on probation for illegal crossing of the state border, after which he continued to work for old filming in Chechnya, disappeared without a trace in 1999, shortly before Viktor Guncher and Anatoly Krasovsky, the old award for TV journalists is named after him, Sko Leonid candidate of economic sciences, head of the analytical center strategy organizer of the traditional Minsk International Forum, where Belarusian and German politicians, Public figures, experts regularly discuss the prospects for cooperation between Belarus and Europe. Zamatalin Vladimir, military political worker, under Kabich, press secretary of the Prime Minister, after the failure of Kabich's election campaign, his talent is in demand by Lukashenko, having become the supreme ideologist of the Republic. He gained all the hatred of the independent press and the creative intelligentsia, who called him the Black Colonel. He managed to work as a deputy head of the administration, chairman of the state press committee, and vice premier, managed ties with Iraq. Finally, oops, sent to rest in 2001. Yuri Zakharenko, chairman of the investigative committee and later minister of the interior, was a charming and sociable person, but had little understanding of politics. As a minister, he publicly accused German foreign minister Klaus Kinkel of visiting Minsk to drench Belarus with blood. After his resignation, he went into opposition, tried to create an opposition union of officers. The tragic fate of Zakharenko, who disappeared without a trace in May 1999, included him in the list of victims of the struggle for the freedom of Belarus. Ivashkovich Victor journalist, activist of the Free Trade Union, deputy chairman of the SOIM of the Belarus and Popular Front, member of the first democratic youth organizations since the mid-80s, activist of the Movement Association of the Belarus and School, Kalyakon Sergei, former head of the Soviet District Executive Committee of Minsk, first secretary of the Central Committee of the Design Bureau, leader of the communist faction in the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, remained faithful to the Constitution, went into opposition after the 1996 referendum. In 2001, he was nominated as a presidential candidate, but, apparently, he himself chose not to register. Capitula Pata Doctor of Economics, after the victory became the head of the analytical center of the presidential administration of Belarus and tried in good faith to advise Alexander Lukashenko on how best to carry out democratic reforms. The president listened to him benevolently, as probably the Tsars listened to the holy fools, one of the few associates of Lukashenko who left him without consequences for his health and reputation. Karpenko Gennady Doctor of Technical Sciences, corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences of Belarus, director of a large plant, he was elected a deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, then chairman of the Malodakno City Council, in the Supreme Council of the Thirteenth Convocation, vice speaker. After the 1996 referendum, one of the leaders of the opposition, a likely contender for the presidency, a failed unifier of democratic forces, he died in 1999, according to journalists, under mysterious circumstances. Kabich Vyacheslav, the last of the leaders of the Soviet government of Belarus, a former director of a large factory, a former party functionary, he became the head of the first government after Belarus gained independence. Had he not relied on his team, had he shown greater determination, he might have been a completely democratic president. 
Podcast Valerie Career Counterintelligence Officer, participant in the war in Afghanistan, Major General of the KGB in 1995, he resigned from the post of First Deputy State Secretary of the Security Council of the Republic of Belarus, the deputy of the same Victor Scheiman, with whom he had established close working relations even before the elections, after resignation, in Moscow, Nyazav Stanislav Colonel, then Major General, then Colonel and again Major General, of the KGB, he was the head of the Belarusian counterintelligence, on the eve of the 1994 presidential election, he was promoted to general, but Lukashenko, one of the first decrees, lowered him in rank to colonel, Nyazev and Yud, quietly sat out in non-dusty places, after which he was again in demand, in the posts of deputy state secretary of the Security Council, first deputy head of the administration and, finally, rector of the Academy of Management under the President, Kazin Leonid Doctor of Economic Sciences, director of a factory in Borisov, deputy and chairman of the Commission on Economic Reform, in the Supreme Council of the First Second Convocation, he was considered one of the representatives of the liberal wing of the deputy majority, Lukashenko made him deputy prime minister, his authorized representative in the integration structures in Moscow, then deputy head of the administration, the appointment of Kozik as the leader of the FPB was at first perceived as a link, but they forgot that the FPB, after managing the president's affairs, is the second owner of real estate in the country, Kozlovsky Pavel Minister of Defense in the government of Vyacheslav Kabich, Colonel General, an attempt to protect his honor from the insults inflicted on him by Deputy Alexander Lukashenko cost Kozlovsky his rank. One of his first decrees, the new commander-in-chief took away the rank of Colonel General from the military commander who passed through Afghanistan, lowering him to Lieutenant General. In 2001, he tried to run for president, but was unsuccessful. Konoplev Vladimir retired policeman, dormitory educator, assistant to Deputy Lukashenko, then chief assistant to President Lukashenko, in 1995, he was elected a deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, where he headed the pro-presidential faction consent, during the crisis of 1996, Harmony split the parliament and provided Alexander Lukashenko with getting rid of the threat of impeachment, vice speaker of the House of Representatives of the INE Convocations, speaker of the House of Representatives IE Convocation. Krovkenko Pat a candidate of historical sciences, during the years of Paris Troika, secretary of the Minsk City Committee of the CPB for Ideology, deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, agreed to surrender his deputy mandate in exchange for the position of the First Minister of Foreign Affairs of Sovereign Belarus, one of the members of Kabich's campaign headquarters member of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, where he headed the Commission on International Affairs, then a prominent opposition figure, ambassador of the Republic of Belarus to Japan and again a prominent opposition figure, Krugovoy Valery financial figure and economist, victim of rational approaches to politics, he ran for the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, received the deputy mandate, signed an impeachment petition, withdrew his signature in exchange for the termination of the criminal case after which he emigrated, Cosmic Nikolai Banker, and, about, chairman of the board of the National Bank after the resignation of Stanislav Bogdankovich, then first deputy Vinikova, Kaczynski Victor Secretary of the Commission on Youth Affairs of the Armed Forces of the 12th Convocation Army Political Worker, 
after Lukashenko's victory in the elections, he will become assistant to the president for special assignments, then for four years he will head the Department for Humanitarian Aid. He gained fame by promising to protect Lukashenko even with a grenade launcher in his hands. Member of the House of Representatives of Free Convocations, La Type of Ural KGB Colonel, Professor, Doctor of Law, Specialist in International Terrorism. He was Deputy Director of the Minsk School of the KGB. After the collapse of the USSR, he was in the reserve, under Lukashenko. He successively served as an assistant, head of the presidential secretariat, minister of foreign affairs, deputy prime minister. In all these posts, he was considered a liberal in power. In 2000 he was appointed secretary of state of the Security Council. In 2001, head of the administration, in this capacity. He bears full responsibility for the struggle of the Belarusian authorities with free thought, Belarusian culture, Glasnost and for the suppression of the opposition, retired since December 2004, Labidko Anatoly a teacher from the town of Olshmiany, Grodno region, was nominated in 1990 as a candidate for deputy by the district committee of the Komsomol. Having won, he plunged headlong into politics. In 1994, he actively supported Lukashenko, but he never received any portfolio. In the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, having won a second deputy mandate, he confirmed his reputation as a consistent supporter of democracy. Now the chairman of the United Civil Party of Belarus, Leonov Vasily is the last of the major party workers in Belarus, who is still a prominent figure in Belarus and politics. After coming to power in 1994, Lukashenko offered Leonov, whom he called his teacher, the post of Minister of Agriculture and Food. And after the 1996 referendum, the minister and the presidential teacher were handcuffed right in the office and sent to prison. In conclusion, Leonov behaved with dignity. He left, wrote his memoirs, the book Working on Errors, the book is bitter, Lim Sergi Party and Statesman who in Soviet times went from secretary of the Smolovichi District Party Committee to secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB for Agrarian Issues, deputy prime minister in the governments of Vyacheslav Kabich and Mikhail Chichar, a calm, balanced person who tried not to disturb anyone and quietly live until retirement, under Lukashenko, he rose to the post of Prime Minister, after which, for some time, being already a pensioner, he represented Belarus at the UN, Litvina journalist, she worked as the editor-in-chief of the youth edition of the radio programs of the state television and radio broadcasting company of the BSSR, after the reorganization, she headed the Belarusian youth radio station, which was closed in 1994 at the height of the election campaign after presidential candidate Alexander Lukashenko spoke on its air. Then she was the director of the Minsk Bureau of Radio Liberty, the head of Radio 101.2, Radio Ratsia, the initiator of the creation and permanent head of the Belarusian Association of Journalists, BA. In 2004, the BA was awarded the A. D. Sakharov Prize of the European Parliament for Merits in Protecting Freedom of Speech in Belarus. Malofi Vanatoli last first secretary of the CPB Central Committee, member of the Politburo of the KPSU Central Committee, after the coup, he worked somewhere in the State Reserve, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, played a key role in the split of the Communist faction, chairman of the House of Representatives of the First Convocation, then chairman of the Parliamentary Commission on International Affairs, member of the Council of the Republic, 
Malumov Yuri is a lieutenant colonel of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, an activist in Lukashenko's election campaign in 1994, then the head of the presidential administration, vice speaker of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation from the presidential faction. He played a key role in disrupting the impeachment, lying in a hospital bed. He endorsed the statements of deputies about the withdrawal of their signatures from the Constitutional Court. Then he was subjected to public defamation. He was accused of illegally buying an apartment in the Kativli with machine gunners, busy at the time of clarification of circumstances, ambassador to Turkmenistan. Moltz of Leonid twice Minister of Defense of the Republic of Belarus, Colonel General, after the first scandalous resignation for drunkenness, he spent some time in integration structures, was returned to work in the Security Council, and then Lukashenko returned the lower general to his former chair. It is not known if he apologized to Moltsev. Marinich Mikhail, the former chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee, lost his post during Paris Troika. He was voted by the deputies of the City Council, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation. He was ambassador to the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Lukashenko recalled him, offering the post of Minister of Foreign Economic Relations, then again in the diplomatic service, ambassador to Latvia. In 2001, he was unsuccessfully nominated as a presidential candidate, suddenly turning into an opposition figure on a national scale, for which he paid the price. In 2004, he was arrested on the eve of the parliamentary elections and sentenced to five years for allegedly stealing old computers from the U.S. Embassy. However, later the court reduced the term of imprisonment to three and a half years. Markovich Nikolay, journalist, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, member of the BPF parliamentary opposition, Marts of Pata journalist and businessman, owner of one of the main opposition publications in Belarus, Belaruskaya Delova Gazeta, Masl Yukovil Yadmila journalist, long-term golden pen of the newspaper Soviet Belarus, who knows how to write by articles. She was a prominent communist publicist. After the dissolution of parliament in 1996, she published in the opposition newspaper Narodnevalia. Tired of communicating with the Democrats, she returned to Sovetskaya Belrussia, already the presidential newspaper, where she criticized yesterday's comrades in arms in the Democratic camp with the same passion. Now retired, Matskovich Vladimir Komsomol worker, then KGB officer, he worked as head of the KGB in Minsk and the Minsk region, then in the Brest region. In 1996 he headed the KGB of Belarus. During the constitutional crisis of 1996, he retained full loyalty to Lukashenko. He resisted the attempts of Viktor Shyman to subdue the KGB. In November 2000, he was fired along with Prosecutor General Oleg Boshalko after an unsuccessful attempt to force the resignation of Viktor Shyman, now the ambassador of the Republic of Belarus in Serbia, Mashrov Natalia, daughter of Pyotr Mashrov, philologist. Deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, she was nominated as a presidential candidate in 2001, but withdrew her candidacy, having missed her own chance to rise, and, perhaps, the chance of the whole country already then to return to the mainstream of democracy. Myosnikovich Mikhail Anadarachik of Belarus, Doctor of Economic Sciences, figure in housing and communal services, Vyacheslav Kabich's first deputy remained in the government under Lukashenko as deputy prime minister, then replaced Sinitsin as head of the presidential administration, in 2001, by decree of President Lukashenko, 
he was unexpectedly for everyone, not being an academician, appointed president of the National Academy of Sciences, nom of Vladimir professional policeman, he served in various positions, including the head of the security service of the president of Belarus, then, the minister of internal affairs of the Republic of Belarus, general, chairman of the Ice Hockey Federation of the Republic of Belarus, Nistyak Volodymyr military political worker, member of Lukashenko's campaign headquarters, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, who remained faithful to the desecrated constitution and went into opposition, first deputy chairman of the Belarus and Social Democratic Party Narodna Gromada, Novikov Vasily Marxist philosopher, party leader, candidate of philosophical sciences, in 1994, he was nominated as a presidential candidate by the PKB, lost, in the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, he was elected as the first vice speaker, together with many other deputies, he went into opposition, but the heart of the communist could not stand it, and, in obedience to severe necessity, Vasily Nikolaevich first switched to diplomatic work, and then concentrated on work in the apparatus of the Academy of Sciences, now director of the Institute of Philosophy of the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Belarus, Pavlov Valery a military man, rose to the rank of colonel in Afghanistan, received the rank of major general already in sovereign Belarus, he was a deputy, at the same time he worked in the Council of Ministers, after the resignation of Kabich, he was forced to leave for Moscow, but, judging by the speeches in the press and specific actions aimed at supporting the Belarusian opposition, he did not give up hope of returning to Belarus, Pavlov Olga journalist, can be considered one of the few experts on the Shplov period of Lukashenko's life, she worked at the regional radio station, tried to fight the abuses of local authorities, she hoped that Alexander Lukashenko would be able to eradicate corruption in the region, but, she described her disappointment in the book Shklov Passions, which became the first memoirs about Alexander Grigoryevich, now an immigrant, lives in the Czech Republic. Pastakhov Mikhail, former head of the Department of the Institute of National Security, Doctor of Law, Professor, member of the first composition of the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Belarus, in 1996, one of the judges' rapporteurs in the impeachment case will remain faithful to the Constitution of 1994 to the end, one of two judges who refuses to submit, in violation of the Constitution, a letter of resignation addressed to the President, head of the Center for Legal Protection of the Media at the Belarus and Association of Journalists. Pozniak Zinan, the grandson of a famous nationalist figure of pre-war Belarus, a scientist, ethnographer and culturologist, poet and photographer, founder and leader of the Belarus and Popular Front, perhaps the brightest of the few charismatics in the political elite of Belarus, but also the most uncompromising and inflexible, which prevented him from becoming the head of the nation. Since 1996 enforced emigration, Pratko Tatyana candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, historian of science and social and political struggle, author of a fundamental work on the formation of the Soviet totalitarian system, chairman of the Belarus and Helsinki Committee, Pupko Alexander founder of the financial and industrial empire Pushi, candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, he firmly believed that politics should be rational, it turned out that if politics is irrational, it is worse for those who expect rationality, that is, businessman, Push was destroyed by the authorities, Pupko, against whom a criminal case has been initiated, emigrated to Poland, where he received political asylum, 
Romanchuk Yaroslav Economist, head of the Mises Research Foundation, deputy chairman of the United Civil Party, represents the interests of a number of large Russian companies in Belarus, is considered one of the leading experts in the field of bilateral russian belarusian relations, Rusakovich Vladimir Party and economic leader, who became vice speaker in the Supreme Soviet of the 12th Convocation, then he replaced Goncher as deputy prime minister, then he was the first deputy head of the administration, ambassador to China, with might and main he turned around in the post of minister of information, showing how an official, frightened by the prospect of resignation, can stifle the non-state press, Mikhail Sazanov police lieutenant colonel, activist of Lukashenko's campaign headquarters in 1994, represented him in the Public Control Commission and the Central Election Commission, after the victory, the first deputy head of the administration, it is believed that during the constitutional crisis of 1996, it was he who encouraged Lydia Yermoshina to the role of head of the Central Election Commission, then sometime in retirement, as an assistant to the president, he negotiated with the opposition, and then retired completely, doing everything to make him forget about him as soon as possible. Sukovich Vasily Party Functionary, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th and 13th Convocations, Chairman of the Control Chamber, in 1996, diplomatically did not find any particular scenes in the activities of the presidential administration, probably, for such a diplomatic talent he was appointed ambassador to Moldova. Sviatskaya Valentina Komsomol activist, after the fall of the communist system, she took an active part in the creation of the Agrarian Democratic, then Agrarian, party, she was considered one of the main advisors to Semyon Sharitsky, after the referendum, head of the Secretariat of the Presidium of the Supreme Council of Belarus, that part of the deputies who did not recognize the new constitution. Member of the BNF, Severinets Pavel, a graduate of the Faculty of Geography of Belarus and State University, a religious and youth activist, he stood at the origins of the Young Front and was one of its free co chairs. Then, after repeated terms in prison, he was the recognized leader of the organization. He was elected deputy chairman of the Belarus and Popular Front, but in 2003, not wanting to fatter himself with party discipline, he left the party. In the parliamentary elections of 2004, he headed the informal bloc Young Belarus, Saradik Joseph journalist. He worked as deputy editor of the party newspaper Soviet Belarus. He edited the organ of the Supreme Council Narodna Gazeta. Lukashenko was removed, despite the deputy mandate founder and editor-in-chief of the only opposition daily newspaper Narodnevalia, Sivakov Yuri Tank Troops Officer, then one of the creators of the Belarus and Special Forces, came to the office of the Security Council under Viktor Shyman, Minister of the Interior, a general who received the nickname Cleaver among his subordinates. He worked as the head of the Dfso Dynamo, then he was called to the post of deputy head of the administration for personnel. In 2001, he was dismissed, but was soon appointed Minister of Sports and Tourism. He is among the persons suspected by international public opinion of being involved in the physical elimination of political opponents of the regime which is why he is included in the list of persons who are prohibited from entering the territory of the European Union. Sivshik Vyacheslav activist of the Belarus and Popular Front, who for some time was the executive secretary of his council, 
He gained notoriety in 1996 when he went on a hunger strike to protest his unjust arrest. The hunger strike lasted over 20 days, had a loud resonance in the world. Russian President Boris Yeltsin stood up for Sivchik and Professor Kodiko, who was starving with him. In 2003, as a result of internal party clashes, he was expelled from the Belarus and Popular Front for dissent, says Alexander Economist, in the Supreme Soviet of the Twelfth Convocation headed the Commission on Labor, Wages and Social Policy, after coming to power. Lukashenko headed the Ministry of Labor, resigned on the eve of the 1996 referendum. He was the chairman of the supervisory board of the Belarus and Soros Foundation, deputy director of the Independent Institute for Socio-Economic and Political Studies. Georgi Trezevich, former chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee, first secretary of the Minsk City Party Committee, chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the BSSR, since 1989, chairman of the Committee on Interethnic Relations of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR. He met the 1994 presidential election in the diplomatic service, first as first deputy minister of foreign affairs, and after he was caught in contacts with Lukashenko as ambassador to Poland. On the eve of the 1995 referendum, he publicly called the president a fool, for which he was fired. Titankov Ivan, former first secretary of the Krasnopol District Committee of the Communist Party, deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, then the first manager of the affairs of the President of the Republic of Belarus, supervisor of the Republic, the actual manager of the second budget of Belarus. Many scandals in the press will be associated with his activities in this post. According to rumors, having signed a decree on his resignation, Lukashenko will breathe a sigh of relief. They say, he finally got rid of this corrupt official. However, you can't sow rumors into the case. Tikinia Valery, doctor of law, corresponding member of the National Academy of Sciences, went from an ordinary prosecutor to the Minister of Justice of the BSSR, then Secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB. In 1995 he became the first chairman of the first composition of the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Belarus. Perhaps the most vile page of the Belarusian democracy is connected with his name, the failure of the impeachment of the president, Trihabovich Valentina journalist and art critic, Belarusian popular front activist, participant or witness of almost all opposition actions. For several years she acted as chairman of the International Commission of the Soim of the Belarusian Popular Front, chairman of the International Public Association Belarus and Perspective, Filarate, in the world, Kril Vakromiv, Metropolitan of Minsk and Slutsk, Patriarchal Exarch of all Belarus. For a long time he was the head of the Department for External Relations of the Russian Orthodox Church, Dean of the Theological Faculty of the Non-State European Humanities University, closed by the authorities, who, together with the faculty, transferred without loss to the State University, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation. Kashchevatsky Yuri documentary filmmaker and public figure, the creator of three dozen feature and documentary films, including the sensational tape The Ordinary President, in comparison with which Michael Moore's film about George W. Bush is a miserable remake, laureate of the A.D. Soccer of Prize for Civil Courage, winner of many international film festivals, Tsapkalova Roy a promising young diplomat, noticed by Shashkovich and recruited into the apparatus of the Speaker of the Supreme Soviet, 
Shashkovich's successor matches Love Hrib will expel Sapkalo for tricks with Lukashenko's headquarters. After Lukashenko came to power, first Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, then Ambassador of Belarus to the United States, Chidra Mikhail, a professional banker who for some reason got involved in politics, Lukashenko appointed him Prime Minister. Chidra resigned from this post in the fall of 1996, a few days before the referendum that destroyed the democratic Belarusian constitution. He tried to return to big politics in 1999, for which the authorities broke his family life, accusing him, his wife and sons of committing various criminal offenses. He was given a suspended sentence. He ran unsuccessfully for the presidency in 2001. Sharitsky Samyan Agrarian Academician, former head of the Department of the Minsk Party School, former chairman of the Collective Farm, head of the Agrarian Party, in 1996 he was elected Speaker of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation. He tried to maintain good relations with Lukashenko, but after the 1996 referendum he went into opposition. In 1999, he emigrated and for some time was accepted in the West as the head of the last legitimate Belarusian parliament, Shimon Victor Army political worker, lieutenant colonel, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation. During the presidential campaign, he was responsible for the security of the future head of state. To this day, he is almost the only one from the team who not only retains his place next to Lukashenko, but also influences the state of affairs in Belarus. The degree of confidence in him is indicated, in particular, by the fact that in 2000, as a correspondence student at the Faculty of Law, he was appointed to the post of Prosecutor General of the country, since December 2004, head of the administration, Sheremet Pavel Belarusian, then Russian TV journalist, he worked as a presenter of the analytical television program Prospect, then as the chief editor of the Belaruskaya Delova Gazeta, director of the Belarusian Bureau of Vote, he was arrested and tried on charges of violating the state border between Belarus and Lithuania. After the trial, he went to work in Moscow, now the head of the Special Programs Department of Vote, in collaboration with Svetlana Kalinkina. He wrote the book Random President, Shashkovich Stanislav, son of a repressed Belarusian poet, professor, doctor of physical and mathematical sciences. Despite such a spot in his biography, he became a nuclear physicist, headed a department at the Belarusian State University, received the state prize of the BSSR and the prize of the Council of Ministers of the USSR for scientific developments. In 1989 he was elected a People's Deputy of the USSR. In 1990, the BSSR, further political career is quite fully reflected in the book, Shchukin Valery Captain of the Second Rank, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, member of numerous political battles, repeatedly arrested for participation in unauthorized opposition rallies, he was expelled from the PCB for dissent and publications in the newspaper Narod Nevalia, which is close to the Belarus and Popular Front, Aydin Edgeworth, businessman, economic analyst, developer of government economic programs in 1996-1998. He was convicted for allegedly illegal possession of weapons, served time, he is engaged in business, he no longer gets involved in politics. Yakubovich Pavel, a journalist whose foilitons and football reports were read by everyone, from workers to academicians, during the August Putsch of 1991, 
He was one of the few employees of state newspapers who sharply and unequivocally declared its illegality, for which he was awarded the International Union of Journalists for Civil Courage Award. In 1995 he was appointed editor-in-chief of the presidential newspaper Sovatskaya Belrussia. The editor, alas, should be guided by the reader, and the main reader was and remains Lukashenko, who called himself a Soviet Belarusian, Yanchevsky Vsevolod Youth Activist. In 1994, he stood up for the internationalist Lukashenko. In 1995, for the nationalist Shashkovich, in order to leave him again for Lukashenko's camp, for the creation of the Belarus and Patriotic Youth Union in 1996, Lukashenko in 2000 will thank Yanchevsky with the mandate of a deputy, and in 2004, poor Seva was not even registered as a candidate for deputy, they probably decided that they had already been thanked enough, Faduta Alexander candidate of philological sciences, closes this list with good reason, former school teacher, former consumer worker, journalist, the author of the book Lukashenko, in which, along with a description of the political biography of the first president of Belarus, he tried to understand his own biography, references newspapers Frankfurter Rundschau, Germany, Belarus Kaya Gazeta, Belarus, Belarus and Business Newspaper, Belarus, Tomorrow, Russia, Izvestia, Russia, Name, Belarus, Komsomolskaya Pravda in Belarus, Belarus, Literature and Art, Belarus, Mogilev Truth, Belarus, Moscow News, Russia, News, Belarus, Narodnevalia, Belarus, People's Newspaper, Belarus, Nazavizma Gazeta, Russia, Republic, Belarus, Svoboda, Belarus, Free News Plus, Belarus, Interlocutor, Russia, Soviet Belarus, Belarus, Soviet Russia, Russia, Magazine Zolgonik, Russia, Arch, Belarus, Profile, Russia, Russia in Global Affairs, Russia, Internet Resources, www.belarus, Free Org, www, Echo, MSK, Ru, www, Gazeta, Ru, www, NNS, Ru, www, NTV, Ru, www, Ant, by www, President, Gov, by www, Ragnam, Ru, www, Strana, Ru, www, Svoboda, Org, Books, Alexander, Lukashenko is the president of the Republic of Belarus, a man, 1997, Belarus and Russia, Societies and States, M, 1998, Belarus and Yearbook, 2003, Vilnius, 2004, Bogdankovich S, How Did You Live, How Do We Live, How Will We Live, SPB, 1998, Vasilevich G, Referendums in Belarus and its path to independence at the end of the 20th century, Amman, 2001, Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, Session Transcripts, Yuri Zakarenko Speaks Independent Investigation, Bulletin No. 2, Amman, 2004, Mushroom M, Belarus on the Path to Independence, Amman, 1994, The Road to Kuropati, A Book of One Report, Amman, 2002, Deutsch M, Braun, M, 2003, Second International Congress for Democracy and Culture Independent Press, Freedom and Responsibility, Texts, Documents, Materials, Amman, 1996, Yeltsin B, Presidential Marathon, M, 2001, Kroll of A, Shastashki, M, 1997, Klim of A, Ogots of e, Independence Square, M, N, S, T, Petersburg, 2004, Klaskas Kyle, Klaskas K, Stanislaw Shashkovich, The Path of Destiny, M, N, 1994, Lenin V, I, State and Revolution, M, 
1918, Leonov vs. Work on Mistakes, Smolensk, 2003, Lukashenko A. Gorodetsky Lessons Literary Record of a Tkachuk, a man, 1990, Medvedeva, Vladimir Putin, four years in the Kremlin, M. 2004, the people have the right to decide their own destiny, a man, 1997, Primakov e. years in big politics, M. 1999, Savierinets P. Generation of the Young Front, History of Young People Born in 1970-1985, a man, 2002, Sheremet P. Kalinkin S. Random President, Yaroslav, 2003, Pavlova V. Shklov Passions, M. 1999, Stalin I. Two Questions of Leninism, ML. 1926, Trashkanak Y, History of Belarus, in two parts, Part 1, Pre-Soviet Period, Mogolev, 2004, Frilov V, Where Are We Going, Belarusans, M, 2004, Yakutov V, Alexander Lukashenko, Artistic and Documentary Story Namiga Literary, 2000, No, 2, Thank you for downloading the book in the free electronic library Royally Brew, HTTP Royally Brew, leave a review about the book, HTTP Royally Brew comment Fadut Alexander Lukashenko Politicheskaya Biography HTML, all books by the author, HTTP Royally Brew author Fadut Alexander HTML, notes 1 Prima Kovi, years in big politics, M. 1999, S. 390 391, 2 Prima Kovi, Decree, Up, PP, 390 391, 3 Leonid Sinitsin rightfully opens our list of heroes, interlocutors and accomplices, member of the Supreme Council of the BSSR of the 12th Convocation, a former builder who became a politician in the midst of Paris Troika, he tried not to speak from the parliamentary rostrum, concentrating on behind-the-scenes work. Unbeknownst to the press, he became the head of the first campaign headquarters of Alexander Lukashenko, a kind of Belarus and Frankenstein, no, not a monster, as some believe, but a professor who created a monster, after the victory, the first head of the administration, in 1996, he resigned from the post of deputy prime minister as a sign of disagreement with the policy of his creation, for Yakutov v. Alexander Lukashenko, 5 Yakutov v. Decree, Op. S. 15. 6. Anatoly Galyev, journalist, head of the sector of the Mogolev Regional Committee of the Communist Party, then, correspondent of the newspaper of the Central Committee of the Ktsu Rural Life in the Western Region, although in 1989-1992 he helped Lukashenko a lot, he did not join the team and wrote about him both before his victory in the elections and after, directly and honestly, 7 Yakutov v. Decree, Op. S. 16, 8 there, S. 20, 9 Vasily Leonov is the last of the major party workers in Belarus, who is still a prominent figure in Belarus and politics, after coming to power in 1994, Lukashenko offered Leonov, whom he called his teacher, the post of Minister of Agriculture and Food, and after the 1996 referendum, the minister and the presidential teacher were handcuffed right in the office and sent to prison. In conclusion, Leonov behaved with dignity, he left, wrote his memoirs, the book Working on Errors, the book is bitter, 10 Leonov vs. 15. 11 Alexander, Ailes, Adamovich, 1927-1993, Doctor of Philology, Writer and Public Figure, 
became perhaps the only prominent Belarusian who sincerely, who believed in perestroika and rushed to help its initiator, 12 Zinan Pozniak is the grandson of a well-known nationalist figure of pre-war Belarus, a scientist, ethnographer and culturologist, poet and photographer, founder and leader of the Belarus and Popular Front, perhaps the brightest of the few charismatics in the political elite of Belarus, but also the most uncompromising and inflexible, which prevented him from becoming the head of the nation. Since 1996, in forced emigration, 13 Pozniak Z, S, 28, 14 Pozniak Z, Decree, Op, S, 60, 15 Georgi Trezevich, former chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee, first secretary of the Minsk City Party Committee, chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the BSSR, since 1989, Chairman of the Committee on Interethnic Relations of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR, he met the 1994 presidential election in the diplomatic service, first as first deputy minister of foreign affairs, and after he was caught in contacts with Lukashenko, as ambassador to Poland, on the eve of the 1995 referendum, he publicly called the president a fool, for which he was fired, 16 the Belarus and People's Republic, this is how a group of enthusiasts from among the nationally oriented intellectuals Belarus and called the state they declared in 1918. The state did not take place, because it could not defend itself against the onslaught of the Red Army, but the idea of state independence remained. Back 17 Pozniak Z, Decree, Op, S, 113, Back 18 Valery Tikinia, Doctor of Law, corresponding member of the National Academy of Sciences, went from an ordinary prosecutor to the Minister of Justice of the BSSR, then Secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB. In 1995 he became the first chairman of the first composition of the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Belarus. Perhaps the most vile page of Belarus and democracy is connected with his name, the failure of the 1996 impeachment, which will be discussed below. Back 19 Vyacheslav Sivchik is an activist of the Belarus and Popular Front, who for some time was the executive secretary of his working apparatus, the council. He gained notoriety in 1996 when he went on a hunger strike to protest his unjust arrest. The hunger strike lasted over 20 days, had a loud resonance in the world. Russian President Boris Yeltsin himself stood up for Sivchik and Professor Kodiko, who was starving with him. In 2003, as a result of internal party clashes, he was expelled from the Belarus and Popular Front for dissent. Back 20 it was the first democratically elected Supreme Soviet of the BSSR. He will be destined to tie all the knots of contradictions about which this book tells. Out of 260 deputy mandates, 30 were received by those who joined the parliamentary opposition to the Belarus and Popular Front Zion and Pozniak, economist Vladimir Zablotsky, historians Valentin Golubov and Oleg Trusov, translator Levan Borshchevsky. A significant number of mandates were received by non-party and communists who clearly adhere to a different point of view than the Central Committee of the CPB, Viktor Goncha, Stanislav Shashkovich, Dmitry Bulakhov, Alexander Soznov, Neil Gilevich, Olga Golubovich, and this with the frantic resistance of the authorities, back 21 catch a car s. 3. 
First of all, it is interesting that these words, although they sat the teeth on edge during the Gobachavara, but in principle the right words, are strikingly at odds with the manner of governance that Lukashenko began to demonstrate when he headed the country, back 22 Leonov v. Decree, up, pp. 2930, back 23 this, in my opinion, quite reliable, version is somewhat at odds with the text of Vladimir Yakutov, the main reformer Ms. Gorbachev himself listened to his opinion, some very important issues on agriculture were adopted by the Central Committee of the KTSU, based on the conclusion of the director of the Gorodets State Farm of the Mogolev region Yakutov v. Decree, up, p. 34. The author does not mention which certain very important issues and where were taken, back 24 Pavlova OS 11, Olga Pavlova, the journalist whose book we are quoting, can be considered one of the few experts on the Shplov period of our hero's life, she worked at the regional radio station, tried to fight the abuses of local authorities. She hoped that Alexander Lukashenko would be able to eradicate corruption in the region, but, she described her disappointment in the book Shklov Passions, which became the first memoirs about Alexander Grigoryevich, now an immigrant, lives in the Czech Republic, back 25 by the way, about Gorbachev, Alexander Lukashenko who became president, expressed his attitude towards him in his usual manner, there was a weakling in power in the Soviet Union, and he was the root cause of the collapse, and the fact that we are going through hard times, especially in the economy, from my point of view, was largely predetermined by this person Yakutov v. Decree, up, p. 5, back 26 Yakutov v. Decree, up, pp. 27-28, back 27 Pavlova OS, 4, back 28 Vyacheslav Kabich is the last of the Soviet leaders of Belarus, a former director of a large factory, a former party functionary, he became the head of the first government after Belarus gained independence, had he not relied on his team, had he shown greater determination, he might have been a completely democratic president, back 29 Leonov v. Decree, up, s, 32, back 30 there, pp, 32 33, back 31 Leonov v. Decree, up, s, 31, back 32 transcript of a conversation with a, Galyev, later, I also heard about the rotten chair, in 1994, during the already presidential election race, and I saw the reaction of people who were carried away by the spontaneous oratory of the future president, back 33 Pavlova, oh, back 34 Leonov V, back 35 not to hell and posit Majelskaya Pravda, 1989, March 22, true, much later, having already become president, Lukashenko will urge the villagers to be content with cups and cracklings as a kind of standard for simple food of Belarusians, back 36 to choose people Mogilev truth, 1989, 22 February, back 37 Pavlova, oh, decree, up, s, 11. Back 38 Anatoly Labitko, a teacher from the town of Oshmiany, was nominated in 1990 as a candidate for deputy by the district committee of the Komsomol, having won, he plunged headlong into politics, in 1994, he actively supported Lukashenko, but he never received any portfolio, in the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, Having won a second deputy mandate, he confirmed his reputation as a consistent supporter of democracy, now the chairman of the United Civil Party of Belarus, back 39 Stanislav Shashkovich is the son of a repressed Belarusian poet, professor, doctor of physical and mathematical sciences, despite such a spot in his biography, 
he became a nuclear physicist, had the department at the Belarusian State University, received the state prize of the BSSR and the prize of the Council of Ministers of the USSR for Scientific Developments. In 1989 he was elected the People's Deputy of the USSR. In 1990, the BSSR, further political career is quite fully reflected in our book. Back 40 transcript of the first session of the Supreme Council of the BSSR of the 12th Convocation, Back 41 Valentin Golubov is a candidate of historical sciences, elected to the Supreme Soviet on the wave of Paris Troika, he was one of the best orators of the parliament, Pozniak's deputy for the Belarus and Popular Front faction. After he did not get into the new composition of the Supreme Council, he returned to science. Science has benefited from this, Parliament has lost. Back 42 Alexander Soznov is an economist. In the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation he headed the Commission on Labor, Wages and Social Policy. After coming to power, Lukashenko headed the Ministry of Labor resigned on the eve of the 1996 referendum, he was the chairman of the supervisory board of the Belarus and Soros Foundation, back 43 Valery Pavlov is a military man, he rose to the rank of colonel in Afghanistan, he received the major general already in sovereign Belarus, he was a deputy, at the same time he worked in the Council of Ministers, after the resignation of Kabia, he was forced to leave for Moscow, but, judging by the speeches in the press and specific actions aimed at supporting the Belarus and opposition, he does not leave hope to return to Belarus, back 44 Olga Bramova is a candidate of philosophical sciences, an activist in the democratic reforms movement, created in 1997 and headed the Belarus and Public Association Yabloko, member of the House of Representatives of the Second and Third Convocations, in 1996, as a deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, she opposed the referendum that expanded the powers of the President, in 2004, she was elected to Parliament with the reputation of beloved oppositionist Alexander Lukashenko, back 45 the road through the rear view Narodna Gazeta, 1991, 29 May, back 46 Alexander Lukashenko, this is our last chance, People's Newspaper, 1991, June 29, Back 47 Lukashenko addresses this issue to the Speaker of the Parliament Nikolai Dementei. Back 48 transcript of the first session of the Supreme Council of the BSSR of the 12th Convocation. Back 49 Yakutov v. Decree, Op. S. 40. Back 50 transcript of a conversation with S. Shashkovich. Only Valery Tikinia voted against the ratification of the agreements. He was the only deputy of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Belarus who publicly accused Shashkovich of exceeding the powers of the chairman of the collegial body. Back 51 Alexander Lukashenko, dictatorship, Belarus and variant, People's Newspaper. 1991, 25 May, back 52 Who will urbanize democracy, People's Newspaper, 1991, June 18, those who read this text for the first time 12 years after its publication have the impression that either he has gone mad, or President Lukashenko has put into practice the program against which Deputy Lukashenko was so vehemently opposed, back 53 as it seemed to many then, forever, back 54 Valentin Vakako is a philologist, the son of an assistant to Peter Mashrov, the first secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB, 
he became a conscious supporter of the Belarusian national idea at school. From his university years he was an activist in informal youth organizations, until 1999, in the shadow of Zion and Pozniak, deputy chairman of the Belarus and Popular Front, since 1999, after the split of the party, he has been the leader of the Belarus and Popular Front speaks 13 languages, back 55 Pozniak naturally yearned for an unfulfilled dream, in the yard of 1991-1992, in the Baltic and Transcaucasia, popular fronts had already come to power, in Russia Yeltsin rules, back 56 later, Shashkovich would move to another apartment, already quite nomenclature, although not corresponding to the rank of the head of state, this emphasized modesty will irritate everyone so much that it will become one of the reasons that hastened his downfall, back 57 Lukashenko will take advantage of this. When he begins to prepare for the election campaign, a stream of compromising evidence that has been lying on the desks of the Czechists and counterintelligence officers will pour in to help him. Back 58 Gennady Karpenko, Doctor of Technical Sciences, corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences of Belarus, Director of the Plant. He was elected a deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, chairman of the Malodakno City Council, in the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, vice speaker, after the 1996 referendum, he was one of the leaders of the opposition, a contender for the presidency, a failed unifier of democratic forces. He died in 1999, according to journalists, under mysterious circumstances, back 59 the Belarus and Popular Front proved this by collecting signatures for holding a referendum, synced by Bulakhov at the suggestion of Shashkovich, back 60 and future public policy. Back 61 even Karl Marx called the national question the sore tooth of the German social democracy, Lukashenko will make him a bare nerve of Belarus and democracy in general, many copies will be broken, a referendum will be held, the authorities will finally quarrel with Belarus and writers, and all in order to politically destroy the country's main opposition force. Back 62 Sergei Antonchik, a worker at one of the Minsk factories in 1991, a member of the Republican Strike Committee, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, member of the BNF Parliamentary Opposition, in 1995, a year after Lukashenko. He tried to repeat his success by making his own exposing report, back 63 Narodna Gazeta, the print organ of the Supreme Soviet, was supposed to reflect the position of the parliamentary majority, but its editor-in-chief, Iosif Seredik, frankly played along with Shashkovich, seeing him as the most promising figure. Back 64 what remains of the fairy tale later, after it has been told, five years ago, Deputy Alexander Lukashenko began his election campaign Belarus and Delova Gazeta, 1998, 14 deck, back 65 there. Back 66 Stanislav Bogdankovich, Doctor of Economics, former head of the Department of the Belarusian Institute of National Economy, the first chairman of the board of the National Bank of the Sovereign Republic of Belarus. Despite a noticeable speech impediment, Bogdankovich became a brilliant university lecturer and a confident public politician. After his resignation, he headed the United Civil Party, of which he remains the honorary chairman to this day, back 67 or rather, with all irresponsibility, 
since Lakashian Ka did not hold any post in which this idea would have to be put into practice at that time. Back 68 Sergei Gaidukovich, Lieutenant Colonel Rocketeer, leader of the People's Movement of Belarus, then, after its self-disintegration, led the Liberal Democratic Party, earning the nickname Belarus and Zhiranovsky, in the days of Saddam Hussein, he was considered the best friend of the Iraqi people, from among the Belarusians, in 2001. He ran for president, as a sparring partner of Lukashenko, and took an honorable third place out of three candidates. In 2004 he became a member of the House of Representatives. Back 69 I was sitting in the hall, so I remember well the reaction of the audience to this performance. Back 70 in that case it didn't help him. Less than a month after Lukashenko was elected president, the NDB declared its readiness to support him, but the president instructed me to make a reply, Ally Oksandr Lukashenko would never turn to Sergei Gaidukovich for help, back 71 what's left of the story, back 72 Mikhail Marinich, the former chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee, lost his post during Paris Troika. He was voted by the deputies of the city council, deputy of the supreme council of the 12th convocation. He was ambassador to the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Lukashenko recalled him, offering the post of Minister of Foreign Economic Relations, then the ambassador in Latvia. In 2001, he was unsuccessfully nominated as a presidential candidate, suddenly turning into an opposition figure on a national scale, for which he paid the price. In 2004, he was arrested on the eve of the parliamentary elections and sentenced to five years for allegedly stealing old computers from the U.S. Embassy. Back 73 Lyudmila Maslyukova, long-term golden pen of the newspaper Soviet Belarus, she was a communist publicist. After the dissolution of parliament in 1996, she published in the opposition newspaper Narodnevalia, when fatigued from communicating with the Democrats overflowed, she spat on democracy and returned to Sovetskaya Belrussia, already the presidential newspaper, where she criticized yesterday's comrades in arms in the democratic camp with the same passion. Now retired, back 74 what's left of the story, back 75 what's left of the story, back 76 there, back 77 Vasily Novikov is a Marxist philosopher, party leader, candidate of philosophical sciences, in 1994, he was nominated as a presidential candidate by the PKB, lost, in the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, he was elected as the first vice speaker, together with many other deputies, he went into opposition in 1996, but the heart of the communist could not stand it, and, in obedience to severe necessity, Novikov first switched to diplomatic work, and then concentrated on work in the apparatus of the Academy of Sciences, back 78 what's left of the story, back 79 there, back 80 later, in the garage of the administration of the President of the Republic of Belarus there will be a Mercedes confiscated from a German citizen on illegal grounds, the poor German will have to sue for months with this department, headed by the presidential supervisors who changed each other, seeking the return of their lawful property, back 81 a little later, he will make a continuation of the report, already completely consisting of weeks, who renovated the speaker's apartment, what the prime minister's wife sells, what kind of foreign car does the opposition deputy Sergei Nomchik drive, and so on, all this also does not pull on Sicily, back 82 what's left of the story, back 83 there. Shashkovich speaks of young wolves who had a reputation as Democrats, 
back 84 what's left of the story, back 85 there, back 86 Vladimir Yermoshin was appointed to the post of chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee by the decree of President Lukashenko in 1994, a year after the report. Back 87 the sovereignty of the Russian channels has only recently begun to be limited by the president, by the way, with great electoral damage to himself, back 88 from the word Brhutz, Belarus and to Bark, shamelessly lie, back 89 Leonidko is a quiet deputy of the Supreme Council, who joined the opposition, a decent and harmless person who did not find a place for himself at the end of his deputy mandate, now he works as a press secretary of one of the free Belarus and social democratic parties, back 90 Yevgeny Budinus, writer, published in Moscow magazines, published books there, he was friends with the first secretary of the Central Committee of the CPB Efrim Sokolov and the leader of the Belarus and Popular Front Zion and Pozniak at the same time. After 1991 he became a book publisher and businessman, under Lukashenko, he left the business and wrote the novel Fools, which became a political bestseller and, according to the press, one of the most honest books about the modern history of Belarus, back 91 Edgeward Idin, businessman, economic analyst, developer of state economic programs in 1996-1998, he was convicted for allegedly illegal possession of weapons, served time, he is engaged in business, he no longer gets involved in politics, back 92 this was understood by all those who made up the first team of the first president of Belarus, the one that brought him to power, and only he himself understood at that time that he would have come to power without us, back 93 in addition to financial, back 94 where to fly out, to cabbage, back 95 Ivan Titenkov, Secretary of the Krasnopol District Committee of the Communist Party, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, then Manager of the Affairs of the President of the Republic of Belarus, Supervisor of the Republic, the actual manager of the second budget of Belarus, many scandals in the press are associated with his activities in this post, according to rumors, having signed the decree on his resignation, Lukashenko breathed a sigh of relief, they say, he finally got rid of this corrupt official, however, you can't sow rumors into the case, back 96 Vladimir Nistak is a military political worker, a member of Lukashenko's campaign headquarters, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, who remained faithful to the desecrated constitution and went into opposition, now, first deputy chairman of the Belarus and Social Democratic Party Narodna Hromada, Back 97 Valery Tsapkalo is a promising young diplomat, noticed by Shashkovich and taken to work in the apparatus of the Speaker of the Supreme Council, Shashkovich's successor Machislav Hrib will expel Tsapkalo for tricks with Lukashenko's headquarters, after Lukashenko came to power. First Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, then Ambassador of Belarus to the United States, back 98 Victor Scheiman Army Political Worker, Lieutenant Colonel, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, during the presidential campaign, he was responsible for the security of the future head of state, to this day. He is almost the only one from the team who not only retains his place next to Lukashenko, but also influences the state of affairs in Belarus. The degree of trust in him is also evidenced by the fact that in 2000, he, a former student of the law faculty, was appointed to the post of the country's prosecutor general, since December 2004. 
head of the administration, back 99 Viktor Kaczynski, secretary of the Commission on Youth Affairs of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation Army Political Worker, after Lukashenko's victory in the elections, he became assistant to the president for special assignments, then for four years he headed the Department of Humanitarian Aid, he gained fame by promising to protect Lukashenko even with a grenade launcher in his hands, back 100 Klaskovsky L, and A, back 101 Pyotr Krovkenko is a candidate of historical sciences, during the years of Perestroika he was the secretary of the Minsk City Committee of the CPB for Ideology, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, agreed to surrender his parliamentary mandate in exchange for the position of the first minister of foreign affairs of sovereign Belarus, one of the members of Kabich's campaign headquarters, member of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, in which he headed the Commission on International Affairs, then a prominent opposition figure the ambassador of the Republic of Belarus to Japan and again a prominent opposition figure, back 102 Klaskovsky L, and A, decree, up, it is difficult to agree with this or refute it, it is unlikely that anyone, except biographers, ran ahead of Shushkovich at that time, trying to discern such high feelings in his eyes, they simply ignored him, back 103 chatter, groan, Wine, Belarus and back 104 Klaskovsky L, and A, Decree, Sokas, 163, back 105 Machislav Grib is a lieutenant general of militia, an honored lawyer of Belarus, head of the Vitebsk Regional Department of Internal Affairs, then chairman of the Parliamentary Commission on Defense and Security, as chairman of the Supreme Council. He signed the first constitution of sovereign Belarus, Hrib saw the will of fate in this, mastered the Belarusian language moderately well and began to consistently defend democracy and sovereignty, after he had lost power, and then went into opposition, back 106 the calculation worked, no one in the hall most of all wanted to be suspected of being afraid of Lukashenko. Back 107 Anatoly Labiko at that time was the president of the Association of Young Politicians and deputy chairman of the Permanent Parliamentary Commission on Youth Affairs. Back 108 Budina Z, Second International Congress for Democracy and Culture Independent Press, Freedom and Responsibility, Texts, Documents, Materials, Minsk. 1996, S. 144, back 109 Sergei Kalyakin is the former head of the Soviet District Executive Committee of Minsk, the first secretary of the Central Committee of the Design Bureau, leader of the Communist faction in the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, remained faithful to the Constitution went into opposition after the 1996 referendum, in 2001, he was nominated as a presidential candidate, but, apparently, he himself chose not to register, back 110 Valentina Trigubovich is a journalist and art critic, an activist of the Belarus and Popular Front, a participant or witness in almost all opposition actions. For several years she acted as chairman of the International Commission of the Soim of the Belarus and Popular Front, chairman of the International Public Association Belarus and Perspective, back 111 Valery Kass, career counterintelligence officer, participant in the war in Afghanistan, major general of the KGB, in 1995, he resigned from the post of first deputy state secretary of the Security Council of the Republic of Belarus, the deputy of the same Victor Scheiman, with whom he was supposed to establish close working relations even before the elections, after resignation, in Moscow, back 112 what Trezevich later repeatedly regretted aloud, 
However, he did not have a chance to live to correct our common mistake with him. Back 113 Samyan Sharitsky, agrarian academician, former head of the department of the Minsk Party School, former chairman of the collective farm, head of the agrarian party, in 1996 he was elected speaker of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation. He tried to maintain good relations with Lukashenko, but after the 1996 referendum he went into opposition. In 1999, he emigrated and for some time was accepted in the West as the head of the last legitimate Belarusian parliament. Back 114 Vladimir Konoplev is a retired policeman dormitory teacher, assistant to deputy Lukashenko, then chief assistant to president Lukashenko. In 1995, he was elected a deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, where he headed the pro-presidential faction consent. During the crisis of 1996, Harmony split the parliament and provided Alexander Lukashenko with getting rid of the threat of impeachment. Vice Speaker of the House of Representatives of the First and Second Convocations, Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Third Convocation, back 115 at the moment the book is going to print, the ex-head of the National Belarus and State Television and Radio Company Yegor Rybakov was sentenced to 12 years in prison on charges of abuse of office and embezzlement on an especially large scale. Back 116 Ivan Antonovich, Doctor of Philosophy, Head of the Department of Culture of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus, then he represented Belarus in UNESCO, he was a member of the Politburo of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the RSFSR under Ivan Poloskov, after the collapse of the USSR, he returned to his homeland, under Kabich, he headed the Government Analytical Institute, under Lukashenko, Deputy Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Belarus, Honored Scientist of Belarus, Professor, after his resignation in Moscow, lectures on the history and theory of human rights, back 117 Mikhail Myosnikovich, honored Arachik of Belarus, doctor of economic sciences, figure in housing and communal services, Vyacheslav Kabich's first deputy, remained in the government under Lukashenko as deputy prime minister, then replaced Sinitsin as head of the presidential administration, in 2001, by decree of President Lukashenko, he was unexpectedly for everyone, not being an academician, appointed president of the National Academy of Sciences, back 118 as we remember, former Komsomol workers, who had support in cabbages on to rush, laid eyes on the building, Back 119 only Nikolai Karpievich returned to the minister's disposal, but he almost immediately went on vacation and began working at the headquarters. Back 120 Iosif Seredik is a journalist, he worked as deputy editor of the party newspaper Soviet Belarus, he edited the organ of the Supreme Council Narodna Gazeta, was removed from office by Lukashenko. Despite the deputy mandate, founder and editor-in-chief of the only opposition daily newspaper Narodnevalia, back 121 what a, Lukashenko spoke about in the Russian Duma Narodna Gazeta, 1994, May 20, back 122 of Kurov v, Moscow voyage of the applicant Soviet Belarus, 1994. May 20, back 123 Bogdankovich S, S, 16, back 124 Vladimir Zamatolin is a military political worker, under Kabich he was the Prime Minister's press secretary, after the failure of Kabich's election campaign, 
his talent will be in demand by Lukashenko, having become the supreme ideologist of the republic, he earned the hatred of the independent press and the creative intelligentsia, who called him the black colonel, he managed to work as a deputy head of the administration, chairman of the state press committee, and vice premier, managed ties with Iraq, finally, oops, sent to rest in 2001, back 125 much later, people flying on that plane will claim that something similar really happened, but Vyacheslav Kabich, who then headed the Belarusian delegation, allegedly simply did not spoil the young deputy's career, pushing up the matter with the assumption that the stewardess's handbag could accidentally fall into the things of deputy Lukashenko, but who cares about the truth in the hustle and bustle of an election campaign, back 126 Zinaida Guncha, wife and associate of Victor Guncha, back 127 Yuri Zakarenko, chairman of the investigative committee and later minister of the interior, was a charming and sociable person, but he had little understanding of politics, as a minister, he publicly accused German Foreign Minister Klaus Kinkel of visiting Minsk in order to drench Belarus with blood, after his resignation, he joined the opposition, the tragic fate of Zakharenko, who disappeared without a trace in May 1999, included him in the list of victims of the struggle for the freedom of Belarus, back 128 How later political technologists will offer to vote for the Russian people, back 129 deputies who supported Lukashenko, led by Anatoly Lebedko, immediately began collecting signatures in protest demanding that the program be restored, but Lukashenko himself refused to sign this demand, back 130 Alexander Pupko is the creator of the financial and industrial empire Tushi, PhD, in physics and mathematics, he firmly believed that politics should be rational, it turned out that if politics is irrational, it is worse for those who expect rationality, that is, businessman, Tush was destroyed by the authorities, Tupko, against whom a criminal case was initiated, emigrated to Poland, where he received political asylum after unsuccessful attempts by the Belarusian authorities to extradite him. Back 131 I am not Soros Belarus and newspaper, 2001, June 18, back 132 Valery Krugovo is a financial figure and economist, another victim of rational approaches to politics, he ran for the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, received the deputy mandate, signed an impeachment petition, withdrew his signature in exchange for the termination of the criminal case after which he emigrated, back 133 businessman Alexander Semenkov will be arrested in the office of presidential aide Alexander Sazanov, allegedly while trying to give him a bribe, back 134 Cherkas over the arrest in the presidential administration, this is how the big grub began Belarus and business newspaper, 1999, 13 August, the author of the cited article, journalist Bronika Cherkasova, tragically died in 2004, a body with 40 stab wounds was found in her apartment, the investigation stubbornly repeats that her death was not related to her professional activities, although the life and death of a real journalist is always associated with his profession, back 135 Tamara Vinikova is a financial and political figure, a wild orchid of the Belarus and political and economic elite, a beautiful, strong woman, lionesses are always stronger than lions, even in politics, she headed the country's largest commercial bank, Belarus Bank, then she became an informal advisor to Alexander Lukashenko, in 1995-1997, chairman of the board of the National Bank of Belarus, 
Her closeness to the head of state will cost her freedom, but she will be able to be with her family in London. I had to communicate with her by mail. In answering questions, Miss Vinikova is traditionally evasive. However, this is her right, suffered and deserved. Back 136 Leonov v. Decree, Op. S. 32. Back 137. However, Lukashenko kept his word. He launched the factories. At what cost for Belarusian politics and economy is another question. Kabich, most likely, would not have agreed to pay such a price. Back 138 the figures are given from the number of voters who came to the polling stations. Back 139 Oleg Bogutsky is a historian and political scientist, assistant to the deputy Stanislav Shashkovich, activist of the Social Democratic Movement, in 1999. He was close to Viktor Guncher and was a member of the so-called Opposition Central Election Commission, back 140 Mushroom M, Decree, Op, S, 166, back 141 Mushroom M, Decree, Op, S, 118. Back 142 Pavel Yakubovich is a journalist whose foilitons and football reports were read by everyone, from workers to academicians. During the August Putsch of 1991, he was one of the few employees of state newspapers who sharply and unequivocally declared its illegality for which he was awarded the International Union of Journalists for Civil Courage Award. In 1995 he was appointed editor-in-chief of the presidential newspaper Sovetskaya Belrussia. The editor should be guided by the reader, and the main reader was and remains Lukashenko, who called himself a Soviet Belarusian. Back 143 probably mutual, if we talk about me and the president, back 144 who he became after the victory, since the position of the presidential affairs manager was associated by everyone with the position of supply manager, even on a republican scale, the press even gave him a nickname, resource manager of the republic. Back 145 most likely, at that time he nevertheless believed that this formula did not apply to him personally, and he will also find a worthy place in the new team. Back 146 transcript of a conversation with L. Sinitsin. Back 147 Cherkasova v. Man in Black Belarus and Newspaper, 2002, no, 345. July 29, back 148 Mikhail Pastakhov, former head of the Department of the Institute of National Security, Doctor of Law, Professor, member of the first composition of the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Belarus, in 1996, he was one of the judge reporters in the impeachment case. He remained faithful to the 1994 Constitution to the end, head of the Center for Legal Protection of the Media at the Belarusian Association of Journalists, back 149 Samyan Domash, chairman of the Grodno Regional Council, member of the Presidium of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, remained faithful to the 1994 Constitution. In 2001, he was registered as a candidate for the presidency of Belarus, but, under pressure from the public, he withdrew his candidacy in favor of the single candidate Vladimir Goncharik, which cost Domash himself a heart attack. Retired from politics after 2001, back 150 Rimas Stomp, fell and recoiled, Belarus and newspaper, 2000, May 2, back 151 Galco and Alexander Lukashenko, I will insist on creating a power vertical Narodna Gazeta, 1994. 
22 sept back 152 the program should become a document consolidating all structures of the state and society speech by president alexander lukashenko at the session of the supreme council of the republic of belarus narodna gazeta 1994 30 sept at the same time, representation was mentioned, but they did not even consider it necessary to formalize it, neither A. Labidko, nor D. Bulakhov, either de facto or de jure, were representatives of the President in the Supreme Soviet of the Twelfth Convocation, Labidko, transcript, back 153 the President and Titenkov were trying on a new suit in the office. Back 154 some people wonder why, having become an ardent oppositionist, the former prime minister never made public the whole truth about his financial participation in Lukashenko's campaign, which would have significantly reduced the president's legitimacy. What is this caution, or the fear of seeming short-sighted and ridiculous, how, with his own hands and with his own money, he created the one who destroyed him as a financier and politician. Back 155 Sterikovich A. New people in the corridors of power is Vastia. 1994. Except, it looks like Sterikovich is still confusing something. No one, except for Chichir, was offered the Prime Minister's briefcase. There were people who asked for this position for themselves. It was also said that Guncher and Bulakhov actively proposed the candidacy of Mikhail Myosnikovich, who was clearly not a candidate at that moment. Back 156 Leonov v. S. 6970. Back 157 the trench was small, if memory serves 120 million, but on very favorable terms, this was a good sign, the West has shown that it is ready to talk with Lukashenko and is ready to finance the reform of the Belarusian economy, back 158 Sinyakovich I, does Russia need a prosperous Belarus, news, 1994. 9 August, back 159 speech by President Alexander Lukashenko at the session of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Belarus Narodna Gazeta, 1994, 30 sept, back 160 Bogdankovich, S, 39, back 161 Leonov V, S, 70, Back 162 the President's word of honor will be given to the people more than once. Back 163 Vladimir Yermoshin in 1994-1999 the chairman of the Minsk City Executive Committee. Then during the year the Prime Minister appointed to this post against his own will. He demonstrated an amazing combination of career qualities, efficiency and decency for an official of this rank. After his resignation, he headed the Belarusian branch of MTS for some time, and then left to work in Moscow. Back 164 Leonov v. S. 72-73, back 165 later. The government will never again dare to demonstrate to the head of state that it has its own attitude to what is happening in the country. Back 166 all citizens become employees and workers of one nationwide state syndicate. Lenin v. I. State and Revolution. 1918. Stalin uses this quote in a completely Lukashenko spirit. The organization of accounting control over the largest enterprises, the transformation of the entire state economic mechanism into a single large machine, into an economic organism that works in such a way that hundreds of millions of people are guided by one plan, this is the gigantic organizational task which fell on our shoulders Stalin I, on the issues of Leninism, M. L. 
1926, back 167 transcript of a conversation with a Idin, back 168 Myosnikovich had a reputation as an intelligent and cautious Arachik. It was obvious that if he kept his word and resigned, the entire government would crumble. Back 169 Galko and Alexander Lukashenko, I will insist on creating a power vertical Narodna Gazeta. 1994, 22 Sept, back 170 transcript of a conversation with them, Pastakhov, back 171 transcript of a conversation with V. Trigubovich, back 172 Vladimir Kilko, the head of Sberbank, would later be arrested, convicted and imprisoned. Back 173 that is, the bank led by Vinikova, back 174 c, mafia clans rule the country Svoboda, 1994, no, 49, back 175 Vasily Dolgolev, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, deputy chairman of the control chamber, after the arrival of Lukashenko. He was the head of the Presidential Control Service, together with Sinitsin, he left the administration for the government for the post of Deputy Prime Minister, together with Sinitsin, in July 1996, he submitted his resignation, but the resignation was not accepted, and Dolgolev worked as the first Vice Premier, and the Chairman of the Brest Regional Executive Committee and twice as the plenipotentiary of the president of Belarus in Moscow, in general, a valuable shot, back 176 which, in turn, will allow Titankov to file a lawsuit for the protection of honor and dignity, and this will force Sergei Antonchik, already unemployed by that time, to sell part of his property in order to start paying off Mr. Titankov's claim in pursuance of the court decision back 177 which will be confirmed later by the Constitutional Court, back 178 as I understand it, at that moment Sinitsin was right, only an official who has lost his mind on the basis of ideological loyalty to his superiors can carry such nonsense, back 179 I was definitely a bad official, what good official will wait for the decision of his own fate in the waiting room, having the opportunity to morally put pressure on the authorities in his office, back 180 the chief editors of state newspapers were fired almost all, including the editor of the parliamentary Narodna Gazeta Iosif Seridin, whom they had no right to dismiss at all, because the newspaper was a parliamentary one, and because Seredik was a deputy, back 181 and this happened, and much more, every time I read in the press about the closure of another newspaper, about the beating or condemnation of a journalist or editor, I think that I was right when I resigned, it would be beyond my power to prevent this, the only thing that remains is to work in non-state Belarus and publications, together with them feeling the charms of Lukashenko's information policy, back 180 to the image of a horseman with a spear is an ancient symbol, like a memory of the Battle of Gronwald, in which Belarus and soldiers fought under white red white banners, back 183 filerate, in the world, Kryl Vakromiv, Metropolitan of Minsk and Slutsk, Patriarchal Exarch of all Belarus, for a long time he was the head of the Department for External Church Relations of the Russian Orthodox Church, Dean of the Theological Faculty of the Non-State European Humanities University, closed by the authorities, who, 
together with the faculty, transferred without loss to the State University, Deputy of the Supreme Council of the Twelfth Convocation, back 184 it is likely that the advisory nature of the issue of the president's right to dissolve the supreme soviet was a compromise that ensured the loyalty of the parliamentary majority back 185 transcript of a conversation with v golubov back 186 there Back 187 after the referendum, Lukashenko will move to the former building of the Central Committee of the KPSU, demonstrating to everyone who is now the boss in Belarus. Back 188 years at Brolish is an investigator of the prosecutor's office of the Republic of Belarus for particularly important cases. He gained fame by proving that the mass graves in the Kuropati tract date back to the times of Stalinist repressions, and not the Great Patriotic War. Back 189 such is the logic of memory, those involved in such events, sometimes involuntarily, try to forget the most unpleasant. Back 190 recall that the deputy officers were then located in the former building of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus, and the sessions were held in the Oval Hall of the Government House. Back 191 the House of Ops and the Okean Store are located a five-minute walk from the headquarters of the Belarus and Popular Front, so it turns out that the beaten deputies were brought there, those who wished. Back 192 transcript of the 16th session of the BSSR Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, no, 9596, back 193 there, back 194 there, back 195 transcript of the 16th session of the BSSR Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, no, 9596, back 196 there, back 197 which, by the way, Lukashenko recognizes in 1996, having delegated Dementei to the upper chamber of the manual parliament he designed, back 198 transcript of the 16th session of the BSSR Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, no, 9596, back 199 there, back 200 there, Back 201 Yuri Azarinok is a filmmaker who specializes in libels that convince the Belarus and opposition. For some time he acted as press secretary of the Republican Prosecutor's Office, at the time of Victor Scheiman. Back 202 they say that it costs much more. Back 203 Tatyana Protko is a candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, a historian of science and social and political struggle, the author of a fundamental work on the formation of the Soviet totalitarian system chairman of the Belarus and Helsinki committee, back 204 Vojtovich and, they tore the flag Svoboda, 1995, May 19, back 205 this Belarus and electoral miracle will then be repeated on an even larger scale, but the foundation was laid then, back 206 according to the constitution, the Supreme Council was considered legitimate only on the condition that the majority of deputies was elected. Back 207 this defeat, by the way, confirmed his hardware nickname, The Undertaker, so-called Myosnikovich by those who remembered that he began his career as the chief engineer of the special farm of the Belarus and capital, the government cemetery. Back 208 George Bate, economist and official, Minister of Labor in the government of Vyacheslav Kabich, Minister of Economy in the government of Mikhail Chichar, after the resignation, the chairman of the Belarus and Union of Entrepreneurs and Tenants named after M. S. Konyovsky, back 209 Valentina Sviatskaya, Komsom activist, after the fall of the communist system, she took an active part in the creation of the Agrarian Democratic Party, 
after the referendum, head of the Secretariat of the Presidium of the Supreme Council of Belarus, that part of the deputies who did not recognize the new constitution, member of the BNF, back 210 to Kalyakin's credit, I know that since then the party of communists of Belarus remains, alas, almost the only political force in Belarus that has never violated the word given by its leadership, back 211 and later to an inglorious political end. Back 212 Lukashenko is not the first time at this moment played the role of father, father, he himself invented and imposed this magical nickname on everyone, after all, only a dad can poke any son, regardless of age, and this will not be considered rudeness, only the son is forced to endure his father's beatings for granted, the father will flock, the father will regret it. The word was picked up by the opposition press and the magpie carried it all over the country, zombifying the people, old man, old man, old man, and the self-styled daddy needed that, back 213 transcript of a conversation with O. Abramova, back 214 transcript of a conversation with V. Sviatskaya, back 215 transcript of a conversation with V. Nistik. Back 216 If the authorities really existed, then the negotiator was chosen very well. Mordasov and Tikinia had been comrades in arms since their common work in the Central Committee of the CPB. Both of them remained on the farm during the days of the August 1991 coup. Back 217 and he served, on charges of allegedly illegal business activities, about three years. Back 218 more recently, we have seen a clear proof of this in the example of the ex-president of Lithuania, Rolandus Paxis. Back 219 however, he did it with them. Suffice it to recall that ex-Speaker of Parliament Stanislav Shashkovich, by the mercy of our popularly elected head of state, still receives a pension of less than 2 US dollars, back 220 Leonov V, decree, up, S, 82, back 221 not quite like this, yes yes no 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 no. Four issues were introduced by the president, three by the parliament, on the first two presidential questions, on the constitution and on the combination of Independence Day with the Liberation Day of Belarus, a yes answer was needed, on the rest, the abolition of the death penalty and the introduction of private ownership of land, no, the authority is also expected a negative answer to three parliamentary questions about a new version of the constitution, without the post of president, about financing state administration bodies exclusively from the state budget, and about the election of heads of local authorities by the entire population. This desire to drive the vote into the rhythm of chance turned Belarus into a laughing stock. The Belarusans turned out to be the only people who allowed their government to be financed not from the budget, but from God knows what other sources. Back 222 at the same time, Lukashenko himself argued that just now the balance of the branches of power in Belarus has been established. Back 223 Leonov V, Decree, Op, S, 81. Back 224 already in the first interview after his appointment as Prime Minister, Chichar spoke about his passion for beekeeping. Back 225 transcript of a conversation with V. Goncharik. Back 226 Leonov V. Decree, Op, S, 81. Back 227 transcript of a conversation with V. Goncharik. Back 228 No wonder Lukashenko decided to take control functions away from parliament. Back 229 This high diplomatic talent was duly appreciated by the president, who later appointed Sukovic as ambassador to Moldova. Back 230 A procedure not provided for by any legal norms, 
formally, Malumov was not in the performance of his duties, so his signature had no legal force, back 231 one of them either signed or retracted, so that even Tikina was tired of it, and he posed the question point blank, Viktor Ivanovich, so you will finally decide who you are with, like in that joke about the monkey, are you smart, monkey, or beautiful? Back 232 Yuri Kashchevatsky is a documentary filmmaker and public figure, the creator of three dozen feature and documentary films, including the sensational tape Ordinary President, in comparison with which Michael Moore's film about George W. Bush is a miserable remake, laureate of the A. D. Soccer of Price for Civil Courage, Back 233 So, for example, he did not nominate himself for the post of vice speaker from the civil action faction, but proposed the candidacy of Gennady Karpenko, back 234 National News Service, 1996, November 25, back 235 Lydia Yermolshina is a lawyer. Chairman of the Central Election Commission of the Republic of Belarus since November 1996, co-author of all the elegant victories over the electorate won by Alexander Lukashenko since then, her role in the fight against Belarus and democracy has been duly appreciated by the international community. The head of the Belarus and SAC has been declared banned from entering the territory of the European Union, along with persons suspected of involvement in physical reprisals against opponents of the regime. Back 236 the latter is very indicative, Kravkenko, chairman of the Commission of the Supreme Council on International Affairs, a former foreign minister, was well versed in matters of international law and therefore his presence at such an event was extremely disadvantageous for the presidential site. Back 237 Grigory Vasilevich, Doctor of Law, member of the Constitutional Court of the First Composition, one of the leading developers of the texts of both editions of the Belarus and Constitution. He became widely known among journalists due to the fact that he was the only judge of the Constitutional Court who regularly went against the opinion of the majority of his colleagues and expressed a dissenting opinion during the consideration of issues of violations of the Constitution by the President, Chairman of the Constitutional Court of the Second Composition. Back 238 this point was endorsed by Valery Tikinia, thus demonstrating his readiness to fulfill it. Back 239 Valery Shchukin, captain of the second rank, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 13th Convocation, member of numerous political battles, repeatedly arrested for participation in unauthorized opposition rallies. He was expelled from the PCB for dissent and publications in the newspaper Narod Navalia, which is close to the Belarus and Popular Front. Back 240 transcript of a conversation with O. Abramova. Back 241 transcript of a conversation with V. Sviatskaya. Back 242 recall, the former chief assistant to the president. And in 1996, the leader of the pro-presidential faction in the Supreme Council, back 243 for the sake of objectivity, it should be said that this is largely the result of the work of the presidential radio and TV, back 244 Leonov V, decree, up, s, 83, back 245 Vasilevich G, a, referendums in Belarus and its path to independence at the end of the 20th century, s. 111, back 246 a whole book has recently been written about this and it is called The Accidental President, the title is frivolous, if not irresponsible, back 247 someday, however, this forecast will also come true, 
a standing clock shows the exact time twice a day, back 248. Another thing is that when he uttered these words, it seemed to him that 12 years was a lot, otherwise, the new text of the Constitution would immediately include a lifelong presidency, back 249. The people have the right to decide their own destiny, Minsk, 1997, S. 69. Back 250 This is exactly what Professor Ural Latipov would say about himself later, in the position of Minister of Foreign Affairs, State Secretary of the Security Council, and later Head of the Presidential Administration, who fully shared with Lukashenko personal responsibility for all the cataclysms of modern Belarusian history. Back 251 If Ukrainians were in the place of the Belarusians, the result, as shown by the presidential elections of 2004 in Ukraine, could be different. Back 252 Zolife, Belarusian Adventure Arch, 2004, no, 2, p. 224, Annie Jolif is the wife of the first French ambassador to Minsk, Claude Jolif. Back 253 Zolife, Belarus and Adventure Arch, 2004, no, 2, S, 224, back 254 thus, Vice Speaker of the State Duma of Russia Irina Kakamada and the leader of the Duma SPS faction Boris Nemtsov, who arrived at the invitation of an independent analytical center, were expelled from Minsk. Back 255 until August 1991, there were duchess of the leadership of the Belarus and Communist Party. After the fall of the communist system, the residences of the first persons of the Belarus and state and heads of diplomatic missions accredited in Minsk peacefully coexisted in Drozdy. Back 256, the Museum of Belarus and Material Culture, the Ducky, created by Budinus, has been the center of the diplomatic life of Belarus for many years. Back 257, Krenz Montana. Trying to humiliate the guest, the hosts humiliated themselves, the tools are the same, provocation, slander and lies Soviet Belarus, 1998, July 14, NUS, 181-182, back 258 Deutsch M, Brown, M, 2003, S, 394, back 259 three times, in connection with the scandal around Drozdy, in connection with the refusal of the Belarus and Foreign Ministry to issue visas to foreign employees of the US office in Minsk and in connection with the unwillingness of the Belarus and authorities to cooperate with the investigation into the disappearances of political opponents of the regime, which will be discussed a little later. Back 260 Silitsky v. Historical Choice of Lukashenko, Arch, 2004, 2, S, 15, Back 261 Nikolai Statkovich, Lieutenant Colonel, Candidate of Technical Sciences, he was an activist of the Belarus and Social Democratic Community. Chairman of the Belarus and Association of Military Personnel, in 1995-2004, he was the chairman of the Belarus and Social Democratic Party Narodna Hromada, one of the few Belarus and public politicians who not only participates in mass opposition rallies, but also remains at the head of the column to the end of the leaders of the Belarus and parties, the absolute record holder for imprisonments in prisons, in December 2004, he was expelled from the party as a result of an intra-party confrontation, back 262 so the wits began to decipher the abbreviation Bulek, back 263 Martsev could not imagine that a civil servant like me would dare to play his own game without the consent of his superiors, back 264 transcript of the press conference of Alexander Lukashenko on July 20, 
2004, back 265 Constantinova N, Union with Apollo Profile, No. 47, 219, back 266 Although how to say, at the opening in January 2005 of the Silici Ski Complex near Minsk, Lukashenko gave the following recipe, to be beautiful, one must not only go in for sports, but from today reduce one's diet by 25%, 2001, Jan, 31, back 267 transcript of the press conference of Alexander Lukashenko on July 20, 2004, back 268 for love v, where are we going? Belarusans, M, 2004, S, 98, back 269 As a matter of fact, Deputy Lukashenko advocated for this, proposing, for example, to take away the benefits from the city in favor of the countryside, back 270 Transcript of the press conference of Alexander Lukashenko on July 20, 2004 Back 271 Klimove, Ogotsovi, Independence Square, Minsk, SPB, 2004, S, 336, Back 272 Transcript of a Conversation with L, Sinitsin, Back 273 for Love V, Decree, Up, S, 26, Back 274 It is not clear what indicators Lukashenko is talking about here. 1990 is already almost the peak of the crisis, the shops are half empty, and the country is close to the rationing system, back 275 speech by A. G. Lukashenko at the second all Belarusian National Assembly, 2001, back 276 Valery Krugovoy was accused of committing an economic crime and forced to emigrate, Back 277 Although of all the states bordering Belarus, the war is only in Russia, in Chechnya, back 278 Although, however, the experience of North Korea shows that in a small country such a regime can last for decades, the question is whether Belarusians want to switch from potatoes to rice. Back 279 Transcript of the press conference of Alexander Lukashenko on July 20, 2004. Back 280 from A. Lukashenko's speech at a meeting on the prospects for the development of television on February 16, 2005. Svobodny Novosti Plus. February 23, 2005, back 281 transcript of the conversation with P. Krovkenko, back 282 Republic, 2004, 29 March, back 283 Republic, 2003, 29 March, 71, back 284 there, back 285 there. Back 286 but he conducts conference calls on sowing and reaping in the spirit of state farm planning meetings, but with the nationwide broadcast. Back 287 Lukashenko believes that Hitler has a lot to learn Svoboda. 1995, 28 November, back 288 Deutsche M, Decree, Op, S, 394. Back 289 Jolie Fay, Decree, Op, S, 224, Back 290 Even though the minimums in Germany and Belarus have always been different, Back 291 Already after the resignation of Latipov, a special bill on state support for such state public organizations was submitted to the House of Representatives, here things were shamelessly called by their proper names, back 292 however, some of the strikers still received permission to take their jobs, however, only after working out on the collective farm, deserving thereby the right to return to the usual city life, back 293 Leonid Kozik, 
Doctor of Economics, Director of a Factory in the City of Borisov, Deputy and Chairman of the Commission on Economic Reform, in the Supreme Soviet of the Twelfth Convocation, he was considered one of the representatives of the liberal wing of the deputy majority, Lukashenko made him deputy prime minister, his authorized representative in the integration structures in Moscow, then deputy head of the administration, the appointment of Kozik as the leader of the FPB was at first perceived as a link, but they forgot that the FPB, after the office of the president, is the second owner of real estate in the country, so the link turned into more of an encouragement and a sign of trust, which was confirmed. Kozik was allowed to receive a mandate as a deputy of the House of Representatives of the Third Convocation, while Goncharik, a much more famous figure, was not even registered as a candidate. Back 294 in return, they received from the Metropolitan not only a blessing and a promise to pray, but also orders of the Russian Orthodox Church. Back 295 name. 1997, June 11, back 296 transcript of the conversation with P. Krovkenko, back 297 emigration, however, turned into an embarrassment, Nakulyev, who is not needed by anyone in the West, eventually returns to his homeland, back 298 Republic, 2003, 29 March, 71, back 299 Trash Canuck UI, History of Belarus, in two parts, part 1, pre-Soviet period, Mogilev, 2004, p. 224, back 300 Silitsky v, Historical Choice of Lukashenko Arch, 2004, 2, s, 15, back 301 The Road Through Kuropity, a book of one report, Radio Liberty, 2002, s. 16, back 302 Pozniak Z, again in the line of fire Moscow News, 2001, no, 46, back 303 Lukasha K, Living in Kripati The Road Through Kuropity, the book of one report, s. 3, back 304 Republic, 2003, 29 March, 71, back 305 meeting of the Security Council of the Republic of Belarus on September 28, 2004, back 306 Alexander Lukashenko, we don't need such upbringing Narod Nevalia, 2004, 23 November, no, 220, back 307 Gennady Grushvoy, Doctor of Philosophy, Professor, Deputy of the Supreme Council of Belarus of the Twelfth Convocation, the founder and head of the Children of Chernobyl Fund, thanks to which more than 500,000 Belarusian children received help abroad, mainly from territories contaminated after the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, back 308 transcript of a conversation with G. Grushev. Back 309 transcript of a conversation with G. Grushev. Back 310 transcript of a conversation with P. Danico. Back 311 Pavel Kozlovsky, Minister of Defense in the government of Vyacheslav Kabich, Colonel General, an attempt to defend his honor from the insults inflicted on him by Deputy Alexander Lukashenko cost Kozlovsky his rank. One of his first decrees, the new commander-in-chief took away the rank of Colonel General from the military commander who had passed through Afghanistan, lowering him to Lieutenant General. In 2001, Kozlovsky tried to run for president, but was unsuccessful. Back 312 he twisted his finger at his temple, you can believe me. Pavel Kozlovsky did just that in front of my eyes during the conversation, back 313 transcript of a conversation with P. Kozlovsky, back 314 Litovkin V, the mystery of the N-124 flight to Alabama is revealed is Vastia, 1994, 
24 back, no, 247, back 315 Belarus suspended the implementation of the contract for the sale of the missile system is vast year, 1994, 1 deck, no, 231, back 316 transcript of a conversation with P. Kozlovsky, back 317 Kotelkin A, I was ordered from above to supply tanks to Iraq interlocutor, 2005, no, 8, Alexander Kotelkin knows what he is talking about, in those days he had it Ross Bruce Heaney, back 318 transcript of a conversation with P. Kozlovsky, back 319 in those days, public opinion in Russia, presumably, still meant something, back 320 with her inherent, however, quite understandable in her position understatement, back 321 for example, all five people who at various times held the post of the head of affairs of the president of Belarus came from the Mogilev region, back 322 in my short time as an official, however, we were not given any money in envelopes, probably this is a later practice, back 323 for love v, decree, op, s, 41, back 324 Protasov f, the best friend of Ivan Titenkov, known in the criminal world as Vidya the collective farmer, was detained name, 1999. June 24, no, 206, back 325 Titankov does not finish, at the time of the arrest of V.T. Kokhoznik, the supervisor of the Republic himself was in Berlin and, they say, he fought for a long time whether he should return to his homeland, however, he returned, having received guarantees of personal immunity, back 326 Galyeyave, Lukashenko does not trust anyone now Rodnevalia, 2001, 10 July, back 327 currently, both Lokvinets himself and his former patron and friend Ivan Titenkov are doing business in Russia, this means that not everyone was nationalized, something was left for life, back 328 transcript of a conversation with P. Motsev. Back 329 indeed, judging by Russian television, there is such a famine in the Far East that the head of a friendly state needs to take a bus of fat with him in transit through Japan. Back 330 presumably, not only in Japan, Titenkov calculated in this way, it is unlikely that any exception was made for the land of the rising sun. Back 331 Leonidska is a candidate of economic sciences, head of the analytical center strategy organizer of the traditional Minsk International Forum, where Belarusian and German politicians, public figures, experts regularly discuss the prospects for cooperation between Belarus and Europe and various aspects of the domestic and foreign policy of Belarus. Back 332 transcript of a conversation with P. Motsev. Back 333 it is significant that the owner of FICO, Natalia Shevko, later married the KGB investigator who was in charge of her case, and together with him ended up safely outside of Belarus. Back 334 for love v. Decree, op. s. 88. Back 335 Vladimir Garkin, former chairman of the collective farm, first secretary of the district committee of the party, then chairman of the commission on agrarian issues of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, deputy prime minister in 1994-1999, ambassador of Belarus to Lithuania. Back 336 Leonov v. S. 132, back 337 Frilov v. Decree, op. S. 88, back 338 Mikhailov y. Don must die Moscow news, 2002, no, 19, back 339 transcript of a conversation with P. Motsev, 
back 340 everything is by category, so that in any industry every creature is a pair, back 341 Vinikova T, the arrest was not unexpected for me Belarus and business newspaper, 1999, to Epa, back 342 Nikolai Domashkovich, former first secretary of the Seno District Party Committee, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, from 1996 to 2000, chairman of the State Control Committee of Belarus, it was rumored that in this position he worked so zealously that one day he asked Lukashenko to appoint him as Prime Minister, they say otherwise they will be killed for loyalty, true, he was never appointed Prime Minister, but he was appointed Chairman of the Minsk Regional Executive Committee, in this position, I ate criticism for postscripts, back 343 Tamara Vinikova, the arrest was not unexpected for me Belarus and Delova Gazeta 1999, to Epa, back 344 Tamara Vinikova talks about the most famous Belarus and serial killer who committed his crimes back in Soviet times, back 345 Tamara Vinikova, I bet, back 346 there, back 347 Lin and Harkin, it was after the 1996 referendum, back 348 Leonov V, decree, up, s, 83, back 349 there, back 350 Leonov V, decree, up, s, 100, back 351 Leonov V, decree, up, pp, 103, 104, back 352 Oleg Boshalko, head of the sector of the Mogolev Regional Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus, prosecutor of the Shklovsky district, then prosecutor of the Mogolev region, in 1997, at the suggestion of the presidential affairs manager Ivan Titenkov, he was appointed prosecutor general of the Republic of Belarus, he was removed from office in November 2000, when, Together with KGB chairman Vladimir Malevich, he demanded the resignation of Secretary of State Viktor Shyman, who, according to them, interfered with the investigation into the disappearances of famous Belarus and politicians. After his dismissal, he left for Moscow, but then unexpectedly returned, silent, does not give any interviews and comments in the press. Back 353 Leonov V, Decree, Op, pp. 125-126, Back 354 Leonov V, Decree, Op, S, 128, Back 355 Tamara Vinikova, The arrest was not unexpected for me, Back 356 there, Back 357 Leonov V, S, 114, back 358 approximately the same as in Soldino, they are fed in other prisons, here are the impressions of Pavel Sheremet, the correspondent of the public Russian television, who experienced the delights of the Belarusian prison, at 12.00 lunch is the most joyful time of the day, first, soup is delivered, a liquid gruel with elusive vegetables, for the whole of August, instead of potatoes, they gave us paste, a mixture of flour and powdered potatoes, the same paste was also added to the soup, therefore, if I may say so, the dish at first resembled jelly, it is impossible to eat this out of habit, but after a day or two of hunger, tastes still change, while the gruel is being transported to the floors, you need to have time to eat the soup, since porridge or pure paste will be put in the same bowl on the second, to be honest, I couldn't cram the paste into myself Sheremet P. Kalinkin S. Random President, Yaros Level, 2003, P. 114, Back 359 Leonov V. Decree, Op. P. P. 
109, 110, 112, already in 2005, the sons of the convicted ex-minister and ambassador Mikhail Marinich complained that their 65-year-old father, who suffered a stroke in prison, was not given the necessary medication, back 360 Leonov v. Decree, op. s. 166, back 361 about his arrest and conviction later, back 362 thank God, given today's trends, they could also impute an attempt to commit a terrorist act or an attack on a government official, back 363 however, this did not play any role. The sessions were broadcast live on the internal radio network of government agencies, so Lukashenko has always been aware of who and how he speaks, it's just that Klimov, as he himself admitted, caught a bus from the fact that he could pull the tiger by the mustache, back 364 diplomats live in this elite house, of course, the administration of the President of the Republic of Belarus receives money from renting out apartments, back 365 and could ye, ordinary thief, Belarusian newspaper, 2002, 15 Apa, no, 331, back 366 and he returned to politics with optimism, inspired by a series of velvet revolutions in the post-Soviet space, Klimov cheerfully and thoughtlessly appointed a revolution in Belarus for March 25, 2005, but foreign ideas are not particularly popular with the Belarusian opposition and therefore only about a thousand people came to the square at the call of the last violent politician, and, throwing snowballs at the riot police, this thousand thugs were dispersed with batons, back 367 the end of state economic programs, or Operation Spider Belarus and Delova Gazeta, 1999, July 2, no, 606, back 368 in fact, it turned out to be the usual theory of state capitalism, but no one dared to explain it to Alexander Lukashenko himself, back 369 Operation Spider Belarus and Business Newspaper, back 370 transcript of a conversation with P. Matsev, it is ridiculous to say that even for the premises in which government programs were developed, I'd been paid from his own pocket, back 371 or maybe permission was obtained, now it is difficult to establish, Edgeward Iden himself is silent, Lukashenko also prefers not to speak out. However, Aydin's arrest hardly coincided accidentally with the appointment of Yevgeny Primakov to the post of Russian Prime Minister, who brought Russia's gold and diamond business under the control of the special services with an iron fist. It is possible that by arresting Aydin, we simply dismissed suspicions. After all, according to the ID schemes, Belarus washed out its gold and foreign exchange reserves from Russia and Kazakhstan. Back 372 Galina Zaravkova is the director of a garment factory in Belarus, Smolensk region. She returned to her homeland in the Shklovsky district, where Ivan Titenkov, the manager of the president's affairs, noticed her and appointed her the head of the Belarus and concern of folk crafts. In 2001, Zaravkova occupied his office, where she turned around for real and demonstrated what a woman who has received power and authority is capable of. Back 373 occupying such a high position, I crossed the road to commercial structures, Belarus Kaya Gazeta, Jan 17, 2005 No, 2470, Back 374 comes a Moskaya Pravda in Belarus, Jan 14, 2004. Back 375 transcript of a conversation with P. Matsev, back 376 Vladimir Matskovich, a Komsomol worker, then a KGB officer, he worked as head of the KGB in Minsk and the Minsk region, 
than in the Brest region. In 1996 he headed the KGB of Belarus. During the constitutional crisis of 1996, he retained full loyalty to Lukashenko. According to rumors, he gave the order to pay for Matskovich's treatment in Germany. He resisted the attempts of Viktor Scheiman to subdue the KGB. In November 2000, he was fired along with Prosecutor General Oleg Boshalko after an unsuccessful attempt to force the resignation of Viktor Scheiman. Many believed that Matskovich could become Lukashenko's main rival in the 2001 presidential election. However, Matskovich did not get involved in politics probably preferring the post of ambassador to Serbia to a pie in the sky, back 377 Georgi Trezevich, Stanislav Shashkovich, Machislav Grib and Semyon Sharitsky, now there are three left, Shashkovich, Grib and Alexander Vojtovich, who joined the opposition, back 378 the mothers of the arrested director of the Belarusian Bureau of Ot Pavel Sheremet, for example, repeatedly recommended to turn to the president with a request to pardon their son, who has not yet been convicted. This way, the president will release Pavel from prison faster, and twice the hero of socialist labor Vasily Starovoitov, who was convicted on ridiculous charges, was nevertheless forced to write a repentant letter addressed to the president. It turned out to be easier to break the veteran of the collective farm movement than the Minister of Agriculture Vasily Leonov, who refused to write such a letter. Back 379 Hans Georg Wick is a German diplomat and politician who managed to work as the German ambassador to the USSR and India, to let German intelligence. In 1998 he was appointed head of the OS advisory and monitoring group in Minsk, after which he became a favorite target for criticism from both the state media and the radical Belarusian opposition. The former accused Vic of flirting with the opposition, the latter of being too sympathetic to the authorities. The case ended with the fact that after the presidential elections in 2001, Vic was not extended his diplomatic accreditation and was not issued a visa. Since then, Ambassador Wick has been living in Germany and is considered one of the most competent European experts on Belarusian issues. Back 380 Pavel Severinets is a graduate of the Faculty of Geography of Belarus and State University, a religious and youth activist. He stood at the origins of the Young Front and was one of its three co-chairs. Then, after repeated terms in prison, he was the recognized leader of the organization. He was elected deputy chairman of the Belarus and Popular Front, but in 2003, not wanting to fatter himself with party discipline, he left the party. In the parliamentary elections of 2004, he headed the informal bloc Young Belarus, back 381 Severinets P, generation of the Young Front. The history of young people born in 1970-85, Minsk, 2002, S. 43, back 382 Severinets P, decree, up, S. 43, back 383 Long Live Belarus, Belarus and back 384 Severinets P, decree, up, S. 49, back 385 Selitsky V, Something is better than nothing information and analytical portal Belarus Free Org, November 4, 2003, back 386 For the sake of truth, I have to admit that perhaps the most quoted journalist from this point of view was the author of this book, 
Back 387 Viktor Ivashkovic, journalist, activist of the Free Trade Union, deputy chairman of the Belarus and Popular Front, member of the first democratic youth organizations since the mid-80s, activist of the Movement Association of the Belarus and School, back 388 Radio Rasaja is a Polish Belarus and language non-state radio station, it was closed after the founders and the team were deprived of the opportunity to pay for the frequency rental. Back 389 Nikolai Markovich, journalist, deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, member of the BPF Parliamentary Opposition. Back 390 The poems are stylized as Tross Young and written with an imitation of the accent characteristic of Alexander Lukashenko. Back 391 Slavomir Adamovich is a poet. His work is characterized by deliberate outrageousness. For the poem Kill the President was convicted. After serving his sentence, he took part in opposition actions, in particular, during the March of Closed Mouths dedicated to freedom of speech in Belarus, he publicly sold his mouth shut with threats. Later he emigrated to Norway, where he received the status of a political refugee. Back 392 Jeanne Litvina, journalist, she worked as the editor-in-chief of the youth edition of the radio programs of the state television and radio broadcasting company of the BSSR. After the reorganization, she headed the Belarus and Youth Radio Station, which was closed in 1994 at the height of the election campaign after presidential candidate Alexander Lukashenko spoke on its air. Then she was the director of the Minsk Bureau of Radio Liberty, the head of Radio 101.2, Radio Rats Year. She calls herself the mother of all closed Belarus and radio stations, the initiator of the creation and permanent head of the Belarus and Association of Journalists, BA. In 2004, the BA was awarded the A. D. Sakharov Prize of the European Parliament for Merits in Protecting Freedom of Speech in Belarus. Back 393 the commission worked and even compiled a book with a list of violations of the law committed by Lukashenko by that time. Their qualifications, Guncha was a lawyer and always sought to appeal to legal norms. The book was published anonymously, with no imprint. However, despite the anonymity, they sent it to all major officials so that they knew that they were participating in the commission of an malfeasance. Back 394 these two deputies are an old associate of Gonsha Gennady Karpenko and the leader of the Belarus and Association Yabloko Olga Bramova. Back 395 Oleg Bogutsky adheres to a different point of view. I cannot boast that Viktor Yosefovich initiated me into all his plans, but it was obvious that he did not believe that a president would be elected as a result of these elections. Back 396 they tried to force feed the potter, but his firm determination to go on a hunger strike to the end even forced the jailers to retreat. Back 397 the former prime minister was charged with a scam with a million dollars, allegedly transferred by him for the construction of an office of the bank he has. Construction was not carried out, but the money, the money, according to the assumption of many who know, but were officially silent, went to finance Lukashenko's election campaign. Now Lukashenko demanded that Shich return this money, instead of being grateful to the person who financed your rise to power, he not only crushed his family, but also rolled a stone against him in the form of a million dollar lawsuit. All this smacks of Terry Jesuitism says Alexander Putko, however, it is not a matter of human ingratitude or Jesuit intrigues, it's just that at that moment Lukashenko was most important to show everyone, if you encroached on my power, nothing will stop me, even what you once did for me, back 398 Ivan Branchel, 
the investigator who led the case of Vasily Leonov, back 399 Leonov v. Decree, up, pp. 136-138, back 400 Kalugin was lucky, he was nevertheless released, although he was not acquitted, Patriarch Alexei himself stood up for him, the merits of the director of the refrigerator factory to the Orthodox Church are undoubted, not only did he open a church right in the factory premises and force workers to attend it, as in Soviet times they were forced to attend political information, a large number of refrigerators at factory prices were transferred to the structures of the Russian Orthodox Church, so that they would sell them and do charity work with the proceeds. However, Leonid Kalugin turned out to be almost the only one of the philanthropists who was helped by the intercession of church hierarchs. Back 401 Belarusians will not betray me. From an interview with Alexander Lukashenko to Belarusian television, June 22, 2001, back 402 but, of course, no one returned the money, neither to the general nor to Marinich, back 403 true, then they cut it down to three and a half, back 404 Dashchinsky A, I consider it an honor, Novini, 1999. 27 EPA, back 405 Yuri Zakharenko speaks independent investigation, Minsk, 2004, Bulletin No. 2, p. 78, back 406 Yuri Zakharenko speaks, S. 79, back 407 we should be together, Soviet Belarus, 1999, 29 October, No. 256, back 408 Belarus and newspaper, 2000, 18 Sept, no, 252, back 409 Cherkasova v, man in black Belarus and newspaper, 2002, July 29, no, 345, back 410 transcript of a conversation with O. Bogutsky. Back 411 Faduta A, in search of the lost Belarus and business newspaper, 1999, 24 Sept, no, 643, back 412 Belarus and newspaper, 2000, 18 Sept, no, 252, back 413 Yuri Balenki is a deputy of the Supreme Council of the 12th Convocation, one of the leaders of the conservative Christian party of Zinan Pozniak, back 414 Belarus Kyaniva is a state-owned newspaper, primarily addressed to a rural audience, back 415 Makhovsky A, private detective found Victor Goncha Belarus and business newspaper, 1999, 29 Sept, no, 645, Back 416 Victor Goncha, the situation in Belarus may become uncontrollable Belarus Kaya Delova Gazeta, 1999, 27 Sept, no, 644, back 417 Department of Investigations BDG, why did Victor Goncha disappear, version 2 Belarus Kaya Delova Gazeta, 1999, 9 deck, no, 686, back 418 we should be together, Soviet Belarus, 1999, 12 October, no, 256, back 419 Dmitry Zavodsky is a former personal cameraman of the president, then a cameraman of the old film crew, led by Pavel Sheremet. Together with Sheremet, Zavodsky was sentenced on probation for illegal crossing of the state border, after which he continued to work for Ort, filming in Chechnya, disappeared without a trace in 1999, shortly before Viktor Guncher and Anatoly Krasovsky, 
The Ott Award is named after him and is awarded to TV journalists. Back 420 they didn't disappear, they were killed by the state death squad. Narod Nevalia, 2001, June 15, Back 421 Investigator of the Prosecutor's Office Oleg Slukak, like his colleague Dmitry Patrushkovich, was a member of the group investigating the disappearances of Belarus and oppositionists. In 2001, both emigrated, realizing that the information they possess was becoming dangerous not only for high-ranking officials of the Belarusian state, but also for the investigators themselves. Currently, they live in the United States in the status of political refugees. Back 422 Yuri Sivakov, an officer of the tank troops, then one of the creators of the Belarus and Special Forces, came to the apparatus of the Security Council under Viktor Shyman, Minister of the Interior, a general who received the nickname Cleaver among his subordinates, after Sivakov once appeared at a meeting of the Security Council in the Maroon Beret, Lukashenko began to alienate him from himself and eventually fired him. He worked as the head of the Dvso Dynamo, then he was called to the post of deputy head of the administration for personnel. In 2001, he was dismissed, but was soon appointed Minister of Sports and Tourism. He is among the persons suspected by international public opinion of being involved in the physical elimination of political opponents of the regime, which is why he is included in the list of persons who are prohibited from entering the territory of the European Union. Back 423 they didn't disappear. Back 424 Vladimir Nomov is a career policeman. He served in various positions, including the head of the security service of the president of Belarus, then, the minister of internal affairs of the Republic of Belarus, general, chairman of the ice hockey federation of the Republic of Belarus, back 425 they didn't disappear, back 426 there, back 427 there, back 428 and if you consider that after Shyman, the country's chief inspector Vasily Dolgolev entered with the eternal cry of all the inspectors, they are stealing, you can imagine how fun Lukashenko was at work, how the president treated everything that was happening in the country, back 429 Leonid Moltsev, twice Minister of Defense of the Republic of Belarus, Colonel General, after the first scandalous resignation, he spent some time in integration structures, then was returned to work in the Security Council, and then Lukashenko returned the lower general to his former chair. It is not known if he apologized to Moltsev. Back 430 experts say that this happens after a small dose of clonidine, which prostitutes pour into a glass of a client. Moltsev was not going to come to the medical institute at all. He was called there on the personal instructions of Alexander Lukashenko. Back 431 Leonid Yerin is a career KGB officer. He worked in various positions in the KGB of the BSSR, then headed the transport department of the KGB in the Moscow region. In 1992 he returned to Belarus. In 1996, first deputy chairman of the KGB of Belarus, then head of the security service of the president of Belarus, from November 2000 to November 2004. Chairman of the KGB of Belarus, shortly before his resignation, he defiantly went out to the opposition protesters for a conversation, stating, sooner or later you will find out everything, referring to the disappearances of people, back 432 Kaktishem, do you need the opposition to carry the coffins with the bodies of Zakharenko and Guncher around Minsk? People's Will, 2001, 29 August, no, 157, back 433 Kaktishem, 
decree, soak, back 434 cock to sham, decree, soak, back 435 speech by the President of the Republic at the Republican Conference on the tasks of the executive and administrative authorities in modern conditions, July 31, 2001, back 436 Rosa Th. Lukashenko does not want to resign Frankfurt to Ronschau, 2003, 7 August, back 437 Security Council meeting 28 September 2004, back 438 Rostikovi, hunt for the president 1998, 3 November, no, 44, 257. Back 439 According to the Press Secretary of the Security Council Vasily Bronov, before the statements of Viktor Ilyukin, Belarus did not know anything about the impending conspiracy, from our side, no developments were carried out on this case Vasily Bronov said in an interview with reporter. BDG, as Deputy Secretary of the Security Council Ivan Yerkin said, the Belarusian side is grateful to the parliamentarian for the information he provided, it is not clear, however, why Alexander Lukashenko should maintain such a huge army of special services, if the thousands of teams of the KGB, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the Security Council can be replaced by one Russian deputy Makhovsky A. Ilyukin is on duty, Lukashenko can sleep peacefully Belruskaya Delova Gazeta, 1997, 1 September, back 440 transcript of A. Lukashenko's press conference, after this statement, Zavodsky's mother appealed to the court, how is it that citizen Lukashenko has information about the fate of her missing son, which he hides from the investigation, back 441 Belarus and business newspaper, 2000, July 12, back 442 Belarus and business newspaper, 2000, July 12, Back 443 There are many ways to provide such help, the most popular of them is the repurchase of signature sheets from volunteers who collect signatures. Back 444 Alexander Lukashenko, Belarusians will not betray me, from an interview with Alexander Lukashenko to Belarusian television on June 22, 2001. Back 445 I had to edit my interlocutor, on the record, Professor Grusheva spoke much cooler, back 446 the results of sociological surveys conducted by the largest non-state sociological service, the Novak Laboratory, showed that Domash's rating grew even after he withdrew his candidacy, back 447 Leonov V, decree, up, S, 195, back 448 information and analytical portal Belarus Free Org, November 4, 2003, back 449 it was meant that they would be able to raise crowds of indignant masses to fight against the inevitably losing Lukashenko and force him to admit his defeat, like Yugoslav President Slobodan Milosevic. Back 450 speech by the President of the Republic at the Republican meeting on the tasks of the executive and administrative authorities in modern conditions, July 31, 2001, back 451 Leonov v. S. 201. Back 452 Invasion is a book published in Russia under the pseudonym Vladimir Martikovich in 2003, which bluntly exposes Lukashenko as a participant in a number of criminal offenses, including embezzlement, drug and arms trafficking, and the elimination of political opponents. Lukashenko's personal life is also presented in a very unsightly light. Back 453 Cherkasova v. Man in Black Belarus and Newspaper, 2002, July 29, no, 
345, back 454 radio station echo of Moscow, 1997, May 23, back 455 twinkle, 1996, October, no, 43, back 456 crawl of a, Shastashki, M, 1997, S, 227, 228, back 457, Alexander Lukashenko, meeting with the governor of the Volgograd region and, Max Yuta on May 17, 2003, back 458 there, back 459 here, Lukashenko is clearly misinforming the Russians, evoking in their memory the events that took place not in Belarus, but, say, in the Baltic and Central Asian republics, back 460 according to various estimates, in 1994 Belarus owed about a billion dollars only for energy supplies, back 461 for example, in 2003 Russia raised the price of oil to 130 per ton, in 2002 it cost 101, the increase in imports to Belarus increased by more than 420 million dollars, see, Belarus and Yearbook 2003, Vilnius, 2004, p. 195, but this did not become a catastrophe for the Belarusian economy, just like the increase in gas prices, the fact is that Russia itself buys all the products for the production of which its gas is needed, in the same 2003, export earnings in Belarus almost doubled, amounting to 9.303 billion against 4.559 billion in 2002, of these, 4.899 billion proceeds from trade with Russia, Belarus Kyadelova Gazeta, 2004, August 31, back 462 for love v, where are we going, Belarusans, M, 2004, back 463 euros love Romanchuk is an economist, head of the Mises Research Foundation, deputy chairman of the United Civil Party, represents the interests of a number of large Russian companies in Belarus, is considered one of the leading experts in the field of bilateral Russian-Belarus and relations, back 464 share MP, several people will benefit from the customs union and the president will lose Belarus and Delova Gazeta, 1996, Jan 11 no, 1. Pavel Sheremet, Belarusian, then Russian TV journalist, he worked as a presenter of the analytical television program Prospect, then as the chief editor of the Belaruskaya Delova Gazeta, director of the Belarusian Bureau of Vote, he was arrested and tried on charges of violating the state border between Belarus and Lithuania, after the trial, he went to work in Moscow, now the head of the Special Programs Department of Vot, in collaboration with Svetlana Kalinkina, he wrote the book Random President about Alexander Lukashenko, back 465 the connection with Russian friends was undeniable. Recall that it was precisely under this scheme of granting customs privileges that the National Sports Fund worked in Russia, which turned into the richest mafia structure in the post-Soviet space. Ogonyak magazine wrote about a certain Mr. Yanovsky, who came up with schemes for obtaining super profits for the NSF. Interesting was born, the contours of the Ovako M concern, for example which Yanovsky himself would later had, or, say, the outlines of the election program of the future Belarus and leader Lukashenko, Spark, October 21, 1996, no, 43, 
Back 466 according to rumors, it was the fight against Belarus and smuggling that once cost Valery Dragon of the post of chairman of the State Customs Committee of Russia, back 467 Sharon P. When the secret becomes clear Belarus and business newspaper, 1996, 14 October, no, 65, back 468 Alexander Lukashenko, the president signed dozens of documents similar to the order on Torgakspo Belruskaya Delova Gazeta, 1996, Jan 15 no, 2, back 469 or rather, not Yega Samanovich personally, but financial structures cooperating with him for the benefit of the Oriol land. However, after the position of Yega strove in the Russian elite weakened, he could not prevent the arrest of the director of the BMZ, Yuri Fyoktistov, back 470. However, according to rumors, communication between them continues to this day, and this is just understandable. In the end, they have a common enemy, Putin, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend, back 471 there's nothing you can do, generals are always preparing for the last war, after all, between the World Trade Center in New York and the mountains of Afghanistan, where Osama bin Laden was hiding, there are thousands of kilometers, Atlantic Ocean, and it didn't make it any safer, back 472 the interests of the people are holy to the dish, journalists of the Russian regions at the press conference of President A. G. Lukashenko Soviet Russia, 2003, 9 August, no, 87, 12430, back 473 freedom of speech, and TV website, 1103 2003, back 474 it doesn't have to be social, as Pater Motsev, the director of Nafton, Konstantin Chasnovitsky, noted after the arrest, Chasnovitsky was the governor general of the oil business, who made excellent money with all those who stole money, all the president's administrators are previous, all the favorites, everyone has been in the oil business, everyone, back 475 perhaps this is just a coincidence, but literally on the eve of Guncha's disappearance, a group of former Russian intelligence officers allegedly specializing in the field of neuro-linguistic programming, the notorious NLP, came to Minsk at the invitation of someone from the Lukashen Casino Circle. The group was headed by Davita, who in 1994 advised the campaign headquarters of Vyacheslav Kabich and, of course, retained ties with Vladimir Zamatolin. Back 476 Sheremet P. Zombification is a weapon of victory Belarus and business newspaper. 1997, March 20, no, 363, back 477 Primakovi, years in big politics, M, 1999, S, 388, back 478 Sharon P, Kalinkin S, random president, Yaroslav, 2003, S, 93, Back 479 Primakovi, Decree, Up, M, 1999, S, 391, Back 480 Freedom of Speech, and TV website, 03.11.2003, Back 481 there, Back 482 Freedom of Speech, and TV website, 03.11.2003, back 483 there, back 484 indeed, he did not, but he fired, by his decree, back 485 freedom of speech, and TV website, 03.11.2003. Back 486 there, back 487 it is no coincidence that the next day this program was shown on Belarusian television, 
but already with bills, and with a shameless commentary by the presenter, who ridiculed and refuted all the facts and figures cited by Chu Bai, back 488 Twinkle, 1997, 29 DAC, no, 52, back 489 Although Yeltsin's press secretary Sergei Yastazemsky offered a different interpretation of what happened, answering a question about the reasons for the resignation of Dmitry Ryrikov, Yastazemsky said that the Russian president was dissatisfied with the way some documents concerning the Union of Russia and Belarus were being prepared, as well as the fact that in, in some cases, his assistant for international affairs, Dmitry Ryrikov, exceeded his authority, in particular, Boris Yeltsin was dissatisfied with Dmitry Ryrikov's statement on Saturday on the eve of the signing of the Treaty on the Union of Belarus and Russia that the president had approved one of the options, National News Service, April 8, 1997. Back 490 Yeltsin B, Presidential Marathon, M, 2001, Back 491 Nightingale V, Hopes and Fears of Russian Politicians Belarus and Russia, Societies and States, M, 1998, S, 416 429, Back 492 Dovna V, I thought it would be less 2001. 13, October, no, 77, back 493 tomorrow, 1997, 17 July, no, 24, back 494 Nightingale V, decree, up, back 495 Gazeta Ru, 0611 1999, back 496 Medvedev, Vladimir Putin, Four years in the Kremlin, M, 2004, S, 80, back 497 transcript of a conversation with you, Kashchevatsky, back 498 Cherkasova V, Man in Black Belarus and Newspaper, 2002, July 29, no, 345, back 499 Nightingale V, Hopes and fears of Russian politicians Belarus and Russia, societies and states, M, 1998, S, 416, 429, back 500. However, people competent in this matter from the very beginning doubted such a possibility. Here, for example, is the opinion of Edward Iden, remember everything. Lukashenko's emission center will never be given away to anyone, neither Russia nor Europe, this is Lukashenko's voluntary renunciation of power, and the example of a united Europe does not mean anything here, the euro is not a single Russian ruble, in Europe, they made an agreed decision on the emission limit in the presence of many emission centers. This is done on the basis of trust in each other and the most severely prescribed legal framework. Europeans are insured against Schroeder's desire to print euros in order to pay salaries to Siemens workers and farmers in Bavaria, and in the Union of Russia and Belarus, our tramps, not representing the essence of their economic policy, ideology and development strategy, only try to cheat each other. Back 501 transcript of a conversation with L. Sinitsin. Back 502 transcript of a conversation with G. Grushev. Back 503 Vasily Leonov believes, although Putin did not support the obviously absurd issue in the 2004 referendum, the Speaker of the State Duma Boris Grislov, probably not without the consent of Putin, recognize the referendum as valid, back 504 hour news, aunt, February 19, 2004, back 505 however, the behavior of representatives of the Belarus and special services in Russia is not a special secret for anyone, 
be lawyers and politician and diplomat Pio Takrov Kanko says, the KGB of Belarus and the FSB have signed an agreement on cooperation and information exchange, but I know that when I was got too impudent there, FSB director Nikolai Patrushev gave the command, catch, put on a train and send groups to Belarus. Vasily Leonov also repeatedly told me that the agents of the Belarus and special services do not even bother to hide from those who are being watched in Moscow, back 506 it can be assumed that it's not just luck, and this story has already gotten away with it, Nemtsov and Kakamada for Putin are far from authoritative people, and something else is more important here. Lukashenko subtly understands in relation to whom one can behave so boorishly, back 507 this, by the way, was what Leonid Kuchma did in the end, but too late, back 508 twinkle, 1996, no, 43, back 509 Lukashenko cannot but be the first even in sports. Before the advent of a G in sports at number one, only goalkeepers went to the hockey rink, which did not prevent the attacker, and Lukashenko plays as a center forward, from emphasizing his exclusivity even on the ice, the surname written on the t-shirt also distinguishes him, probably for those who cannot count against the background of his partners, among whom there are masters who performed at the championships of the USSR and the world, this looks like a blatant fox puss. nevertheless, it seems that common sense still prevails outside the country, and before traveling to Moscow in January 2001, as well as during a visit to St. Petersburg, a G changed number 1 to 99, and that is true, in Russia, it's first, which can correctly understand the clumsy hint, however, number 99 is also not taken from the ceiling circus over the, man in black, back 510 of course, to Russia, ironically Yevgeny Budinus, to where his primitive economic, everyday experience is needed, in Belarus, Lukashenko has exhausted himself, but the Ryazan and Tambov provinces still can't even dream of much of his experience. What reasons do our politicians go hungry for? No third presidential term. Is this really a reason for those who have been without a salary for six months and have nothing to feed their families with? Back 511 transcript of a conversation with P. Martsev. Back 512 it is clear that the development of Ukraine along the democratic path towards the West will create a new situation for Belarus. Back 513 interview with A. G. Lukashenko to the program today of the NTV television company, 2002, 9 Sept. Back 514 transcript of a conversation with A. Budinus, back 515 Ragnam Agency, February 14, 2005 The only communist in the CIS space was the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, he stands for strengthening union ties said Valentin Romanov, a deputy from the Communist Party of the Russian Federation, website www.stranaru, February 18, 2005, back 516 meeting of the President of the Republic of Belarus A. G. Lukashenko with journalists of Belarus and TV channels on the eve of Independence Day 2003, back 517 Sinitsin is not the first to notice this, according to the results of sociological surveys of the Independent Institute for Socio-Economic and Political Research. Political analyst Yuri Drakakrust published an article back in 1996, in which he spoke about Russian-speaking Belarusian nationalism, 
Back 518 even more demonstrative was the appointment in January 2005 of a new composition of the board of the KGB of Belarus, as a result of a decisive purge in the leadership of the country's main intelligence service, not a single person with a track record of working in Russian or Soviet Czechist structures remained, for the sake of this, the cadres had to be greatly rejuvenated. Back 519 onslaught to the east, German, back 520 shame, Belarusian, back 521 press conference of A. G. Lukashenko July 20, 2004, back 522 involuntarily, you ask yourself, isn't Lukashenko lucky too often, doesn't he manage his luck? Is it only his instinct that unmistakably tells him the moment when it is possible, when they will not be up to you all? Isn't this confidence based on knowledge that it really won't be up to you? Do not his countless allies, especially in the Arab world and in the Russian FSB, who know what will happen and when, tell him when the right moment will come? Back 523 guest felt, did you know? Back 524 interview with Nazavizamagazeta, 2004, 20 deck.